there any way that we can test that? <laughs> Pray? No other red things are going across the top. Uh, and we're dropping zero frames. Yeah, we're good. Great. Yeah. Cool. Um, if anyone's watching at this point, hello. Uh, we are, of course, Slinky Gibbon Games, as you can tell by the name of the Twitch stream. Yeah. Camera's over there, not over there. There, yes. not over there. This is going to be weird to get used to. So <laughs> we've just finished a new office in which yeah. we can develop, play, and you know, do all our shenanigans. Yeah, so we've got a bit more space than what we had last time. We don't have to completely set everything up, pack it all up down and all My that section stuff. of the office was just a brown armchair. That's all I had. So <laughs> this is a bit of an upgrade. This is my desk. Kind of. So live streams. Yep. We are basically just going to do whatever the hell we want. There's going to be unboxings, uh, some gameplays. We're hoping to get a Gloomhaven campaign started soon because we yeah. spent $200 on a game yep. that we've played once. Yep. Yep. And it's, you know, sexy. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's up there underneath the squid. Underneath the squid. Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, we're also going to do, like, every Thursday is uh, we look at Kickstarter, basically. If mm -hmm. you're designing video... Uh, if you're designing board games... And you're not looking at Kickstarter basically weekly. You're an idiot. <laughs> hey, hey, you know I'm a big idiot. Too. Uh, we'll also do game reviews, previews of things if people ever send them in slash we request them, and that's yeah. that's about the gamut of it. Oh, Q and A's. We might you know stream testing of our games, etc. If you don't know who we are, because I realised we've forgotten that point. I'm Riley Morse. I'm Damien Schneider. You'll probably hear that a lot. So this yes. is more like the behind the scenesy part of the yeah, experience. This, this is us getting things up and running, uh, making sure that it's all working. So if you do have any thoughts, comment, that sort of thing, please let us know because yeah. it's it's difficult for us to um, be able to check all this stuff out uh, on the fly. Yeah, yeah. So and then and then we'll go into like a show segment which we'll clip out we'll put on YouTube so we'll do intros again and again and again so you're going to know our names well by the end of it <laughs> so because we've been out of like the video production side of our enterprise for so long yeah because of setting up offices and going to supernovas and selling <laughs> games and producing games running a kickstarter and good oh, god oh kickstarter yes yeah it hurt We've got quite a few games to unbox. What do we have? We've got all the Subterra expansions. Yes. Uh, we've, we've got, got Dice, Dice Forge. Forge. We've got Clank and expansion. We've got Charterstone. Mm -hmm. Ow. And we've got Lucidity, which if any of the TGDA is watching, is one of our own, which is really cool. I actually met him and pre-ordered it at LFG last year after yeah. playing it. I was so impressed. Yeah. I was just like, yep, yeah. <laughs> done. So I'm thinking... Dice Forge. Dice Forge? Dice Let's Forge because it's interesting. We've had it for ages. Yeah. Uh, so, so I mean, this this is the main reason for getting this game is that it does have the interesting sort of mechanic where you've got the dice. Hold, 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 hold. Okay. That's show segment stuff, Dan. Come on now, we've got to get this pattern. <laughs> uh, also, something I've just realised. We don't have a knife here at the moment. Oh, that's fine. This is, this is easy enough. Oh, it's okay. Alright, you say that. Alright. Alright. <laughs> I think got, it's show We've got so. ways of dealing with it. Yeah. We have a projector clicker to swap between cameras. How um, nifty is that? That camera's a little blown Yeah, up. that's that's a little bit much. Mm. Yep. We're going to want to change that. I might go drop the explosion on that camera, huh? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Take me home. I've been watching the Fallout trailers. I'm sorry for all the country road. Take me home to a place I belong. Going to get copyright striked. Take me home. <laughs> and that should be fixed. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ah, alright. Okay. So, can we see comments or anything like that? If, if one of us loads up Twitch. Yes. Okay. Um, probably something to have a laptop off to a side, maybe. For future endeavours. Yep. Otherwise, uh, load it up on your phone. Just pause the stream. So you can have it on the internet. Mm -hmm. Pause the stream. Okay. Pressing 
probably remove the price tags. <laughs> See, this is why the YouTube version is going to be cut from the intro to the end of this segment rather than all this nonsense. Because who wants that on a YouTube video? Like streams you just throw on in the background. Avalon. Now, how do we find us again? Twitch.tv slash Slinky Gibbon Games. That was the most natural chance for some self promotion ever. What's up? I'm just taking its time. So if you pause that, you should yep. be able to view comments. Ah, I've got welcome. Yep, to the chat welcome room. to the chat room. Okay. There we are. Cool. So is that room just? why you should have bought the keyboard with the iPhone stands. Come on now. <laughs> you have a mouse. True. Alright. Show segment? Show segment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to... S Slinky Gibbon Games. It's Gibbon versus... Gibbons versus Gibbons Games. Versus games. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gibbons versus Games. I'm Riley Morse. I'm Damien Schneider. And today we are going to be unboxing Dice Forge. As always, this is a more raw look at the physical unboxing experience, the components, and how they naturally come. So, we've got this because it's mechanically interesting to us. We're considering using dice that you can edit, which is really interesting. And I haven't seen it outside of, like, a Lego game. Yeah. I haven't um, seen it. But there's there's also Rattle Bones, I think is the name of it, mm -hmm. um, uh, which is another... Uh, sort of dice builder. Um, yeah, I got it. See? He's got it. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it just, it just seems like a really interesting mechanic to be able to re, like, essentially rig your dice yeah. in a way that you want. Um, <laughs> Taking a page from my book, eh? Yeah. Excellently yeah. done. Of course. So, we picked this up for $65 at mm -hmm. an Australian yeah. Game Traders. So, it's, it's not too expensive compared to other things. It's yeah. not too bad at all. Yeah. And it's quite light. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. There we go. Oi, cool. what do we got? Hey, so that, that looks like a fancy little card. That's probably like an exclusive. Yep. Okay. Or something or other. Don't know what any of that Maybe is. that first print run. We've yeah. got a cheat sheety type book. It's called the Hero Aid. Yep. It looks to have further rule explanations for what comes on cards. Uh, we've got rule storage and setup, which is interesting too. Another little yep. sort of quick sheet. It, it's um, nice to have quicker books like that. I, I'm actually wondering, is, is that our is that our rule book? Or is that the whole rule book? That's that would be interesting. interesting. It's nice that it's got a actual like put it back in the box yep. layout. That's nice. Yeah. Um, so these look like the character mats. Okay, so they've got the sort of the plug character maps, almost like scythe. Yeah. Yep. Right. Um, I mean, this game probably came out beforehand. So it's got some type things. of elastic -y thing. <laughs> Help keep stuff together. Cool. That's that's nice. Excellent. I'm yeah. good now. Yep. <laughs> uh, Get that out of your system. Uh, so that's wow. a part of the game board, I guess, with like a sleeve to show you what would go in each of the sections. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, that's interesting. Hmm. I like the double layered cards to have that yeah. sort of depth to it. Yep. it. It really improves the board presence for not a ton of effort. I mean, if we start looking at manufacturing costs for that, I'm sure we'll Oh, see. I'm sure it's nightmarish. <laughs> so that looks like where things sort of slip in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Although well, I've got the, the example. The okay. Back. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's... It, this game has really nice sort board, of board presence. presence. Yeah, it's really um, getting up there, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's... That's um, just that's, a spacer? Yep, 
Um, and then we've got the classic old packs of cards. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. All right, let's open. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now let's leave the interesting bit to last, Damien. Okay. I know how excited we are. So these look like some sort of creature cards I've got. I've got some sort of old goat thing. I've got some fairies. Cards are sticking a bit, but that's all right. They've obviously just been cut out. Oh, owl. Bird. 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 <laughs> so naturally, all these sort of cards, they're kind of minimalistic. Oh, boy. We'll have a pen camera in future. Yeah. So yeah. It's, they're very simplistic. They've got a little bit of information up the top here. They've got a single image. Uh, they've got a little blue dot down in the corner. No idea what that means. Some of them don't have information over the top. Yeah. Uh, so this is dyna uh, designed in a way that it's it's not language dependent. No. Uh, and I believe this was actually made in France. Oh, okay. French. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's, uh, that's what I saw on the back of the box earlier. Uh, so... Information yeah. on the back of the cards too. Ooh, they change. Ah, so that might just be like the little decks and things that they're from. Yep. Uh, so it, it's almost as if it's like a little AI. Almost AI deck, sort of. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. No, that's cool. Very interesting. The artwork's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, very, very, very bold, sort of colourful style. And here we are. Uh, uh, let's start with the less interesting stuff. Come on. You want to delay the release as much as possible. Standard little uh, wooden meeples. Yeah. Wooden meeples. Uh, we've actually got like plastic the cubes over here. Old school ones. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're like your pawns. Yeah, um, pawn style. Yep. Yeah. And so these are yep. just... Like Plastic little... multicolour cubes. Yep. Um, I mean, I like wood, but do you think they could have kept the components the same materials just for a little consistency? Do you think yeah, it matters look, to anyone? Um, I mean, they could have done. Uh, one of the things that, that, I, that I find interesting is that the plastic components are generally cheaper yep. as well. Um, which, I mean, when I, I was first looking at the... Uh, options and things in terms of different manufacturers. I mean, would... this would be carved, whereas that's just a big F off sheet of squares and they just injection it. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Chuck those off to the side. And we are down to the most interesting bit. We now have the faces for what is obviously the dice and um... apparently the companion cube from Portal. <laughs> <laughs> Tell yep. me it doesn't look like that, yep. though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's. Pass. And let's get cool. some faces. Okay, did you want one of those? Yeah, yeah, I'd love one. So, I mean, the, I, I assume we wow, don't have to go... Literally Lego. <laughs> Look at it. And they just kind of snap in there like that. Yep, and, and they just push in, allowing you to adjust your faces. We've got to see how well they roll this the thing. Yeah. We've been really excited to bring these out, test with them. We're strongly considering it as a future mechanic. Um, as a more more unique way of having sort of that character editing rather than just a character sheet in front yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's almost like a, a, a variant on the whole deck builder sort of thing where you're kind of rigging that uh, yeah. luck uh, side of things. So a lot of these symbols correspond to what I saw on these cards. Yeah. Especially if we go over to the front, it's like... There you go. So if you're old three of that yellow symbol, I assume that's victory points, the laurels. Yeah. Probably. So, yeah, that would, if you roll that in some way. Again, if you are new to this series, this is our first impressions. We don't read the rule book. We're just guessing at what mechanics, etc. can be. And we're more looking at the components. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of, let's work back down the list, shall we? Dice. Cool. Dice. Let's start with them. They're a good... Weighty feel without being too heavy, especially when loaded up. They roll nicely. Yeah, this is it's it's one of the things because we we did look a bit at the uh, Lego dice because that is yeah um, we have one back there. Uh, it, it is something that has like a, a fairly similar sort of thing where you can just kind of build up the um, uh, the dice uh, yourself. Yeah. Uh, the, there's not a huge amount of customization in in that. That's why this looks really interesting. And it's like oh, this is. Uh, this would be great to uh, just try and find out how it all works. but Very large flat surfaces on them. Rolling them, they seem to slide quite a bit rather than roll. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's just how I'm rolling, I suppose. I, I, I'm more of a I'm more game when I do the, the long ones because usually I'm rolling 30 bloody dice because we yeah. play Tyranids. Yep. Yeah. So, 
They're nice. Yeah, they, no, they're, uh, let's they're see how great. the unclip goes, though. Um, it seemed fine. Like that was one of the first things that I tested. Um, you've just got to get the. Come on, you, yeah. you've got them. You've got huge nails. You should I be do. fine. I do. Yes, this. I've got guitarist nails, but <laughs> they're delicate implements, and I can't break them. <laughs> Yeah, so some of them do tend to stick a bit. Yeah. Um, but I, I think it... I'm sure that gets easier as you yeah. go. Things sort of stretch and get used to it. And, mm. and I mean, you have a little pen or a tiny little screwdriver. It's like, boop, boop, boop. Easy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe that's even an implement you could have included. A small plastic device to just boop, boop, boop. I think they boop might actually out. have one of those in rattleworms as well. Like really? That. Um, we're not missing anything under the inject injection mold. Very nicely, very pretty injection mold. Just as far as yeah. with storage spots for dice. So maybe there's some sort of continuation with the game. You can actually fit in some form of loaded up dice. Yeah. Yep. So just storing them yep. uh, between games. Or uh, I'm so not sure this has any sort of campaign. No. Dice. But Maybe it's just for like, oh, this is a common dice we're using. We'll just leave that. Or maybe there's some dice you have to start with. Your starting dice, etc. Yeah. yeah. So no, there's no plastic element under the thing. So maybe a little device to pop them out. Some people, especially maybe kids' fingers might have it. Or no, larger adults' fingers would have a harder time getting in there. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we've both got fairly dainty, delicate hands. <laughs> yeah. But they're still very nice. Still very mm. interesting. Yep. Okay, Very so exciting. do we want to be going through these in rule book uh, sort of pack down order and that way we can be putting it putting it all in the box? Alright, sure. So let's see how it tells us to pack things down. Okay, let's get rid of that plastic. Yeah. <laughs> that took ages. Alright. Foundations, one game box and tray, four hero pawns into these four slots. Okay. This is very nice. I like this. Ah. He immediately screwed it up. Yes. Fantastic. Right, tokens. They're going to be still into those things at the moment. Right, let's leave those for yeah. now, hey? Yeah. Uh, then these are the 20 coloured resource markers, which uh, are the plastic things there. Cool. Uh, now, do they have colour separations or uh, sort? They, they do, but it all just fits in that slot. They've sorted into black and orange and blue and green, but it really doesn't matter. Oh. No, come on. Oh. We discussed that we had to make these videos faster. Yes. Okay. That, and it drives the OCD nature of most gamers through the roof, and that amuses me. That's interesting. Uh, oh no, there it is. There it is. Found it. Okay, day. <laughs> so then we have cards. Mm -hmm. Cards, cards, cards in these slots here. Right where we found them. Okay. And we'll chuck our fancy little one in there too. Yeah, absolutely. Except it's got a sleeve that's going to get damaged. Yeah. But the card itself seems to be fitting. So, eight divine dice cores on which to fit removable faces go in here. Funnily enough. Another one. There it is. There we go. Then you get various tokens, etc., which are placed here. Mm -hmm. But we haven't popped those out. Then the hero inventories go next. Yep. Uh... I think we might want do, to be... Do, do. do they just go in the in the nonsense there? They go in here. Really? Yep. You've got to pack all those away. That seems irritating. So it tells you to pack all the singular... I assume you want the instructions. No? Uh, I just want to look at this. Uh, it literally shows you where to put them. So, I mean, That's this, this would is. be the in-game where you get everything, right? Uh, like Quite possibly, yeah, that's the store, maybe. Yeah, is that fitting? Yeah, okay, so that'd be the cost, and mm -hmm. that's what you can pick out of there. Yeah. So, yes, again, that very deck builder element where you can, you know, beat other players to the punch of whatever system you're going for, 
etc. For now, just going to put them back absolutely anywhere. And Damien apparently is not going to help. I'm there looking we at go. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice plastic. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, it's, it's not going to warp. It's not. It, it's a much more brittle plastic than you're going to find on, you know, miniatures, etc. Uh, it's, it's not going to shatter though or anything. So it's, it's very nice. Yeah. It's very lightweight. What it is. The cards are good quality. Maybe a bit thinner than an average. Than say like a, an LCG playing card or something. Possibly. Um. Fairly yeah. standard board game. You, you, you're not going to complain about the quality of them, certainly. The colours are nice and vibrant on everything. The artwork's gorgeous. Yeah. Sort of a cartoony style without going over the top. We will get this um, done eventually. There, there's, there's not enough. There's yeah. not enough slots. Hmm. So do these get replaced as throughout the game, possibly? I would suppose so. So where do the rest of them go then? I would assume that that's what that big spot in there is for. It's not said to load up anything, but I'm going to make the official decree that... Interesting. Alright, well... Yeah, it's interesting that everything else is that heavily detailed. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure I'm just not looking at it well enough. Uh, quite possibly the rest are all meant to be loaded onto the dice. Hmm. That would make sense. Then, after the character sheets, we have the folded up island board. We then have that. Oh, which wraps around it and keeps them all in there. Uh, yep. ah. Or one's upside down, who cares? <laughs> we'll manage. Which is where the elastic comes back in. It doesn't tell you to, but we're going to. Yeah. Um, wasn't it around the, the other, other way around? To stop it sliding out. You are correct, sir. Then that goes on. Then our storage instructions and our rule book. So that is the rule book. That it certainly looks like it. So you yeah. have a oh and this. That's the rule book. So you have a two page long ways layout rule book with uh, a four player game mode written on the back. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Text. Text is legible enough. Mm -hmm. We've got serif everywhere you'd expect serif. Serif is always better for standard text. Uh, a lot of people will say that. Um, you'll, you'll get the exceptions. You've got sans serif in your titles and your boldings. That's fine. It's, it's, it's perfectly legible. It looks like it's laid out nicely. And lots of images. You don't just want walls of text. It's yeah. broken up a lot. They've gone for that symbol style of rule system. Where is the clicker? I don't have a clicker for you. I've probably dropped it. Um, it's not on the other side of that? No, no, no. no. I definitely dropped it. Can you check for me, please? This is one of the moments that will get edited out. Yeah, um, there it is. Awesome. Hmm. That doesn't help us. Thank you. Are we go. Okay, uh, they've gone for the more symbol based. You know, this means this symbol means all of this. This symbol means all of this. Makes it a very visual layout on the rule book, which is always nice. Um, very useful for newer gamers or gamers that are more interested in a quick setup go experience. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it also comes down to that point where uh, this is. Uh, I'm assuming this was printed in multiple languages, mm. and so the only things that you're actually replacing are these booklets here. Yep. And then the rest is all just uh, saving on manufacturing costs. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so. All right. Well. Fantastic. Yeah, lovely yeah. looking game. Yeah. No. But I mean, it, it looks like it's probably going to be a little bit on the simpler sort of end yeah. of 
of board games, but uh, in terms of visual appeal and stuff like that, I'm, I'm stoked to. Yeah, absolutely. To I wonder how much of it is sort of a proof of concept that, hey, this can work in a game. Mm. Go. It'll yeah. be interesting to actually give it a play and try it out and see how much longevity there is within the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank I have you. been Riley Morse. I'm Damien Schneider. We've been Gibbons vs. Games, and we will catch you next time. Cool. Cool. And this is the joy of the stream. You get to see the downtime bit. Yeah. Right? You get to see the... So, a little, maybe a bit more brutal opinions. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. It looks a bit simple. Maybe. Yeah, I... I mean, I mean it, that the problem is with you and me, we like complex games, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there any way to check volume and stuff like that on there? Not really. Turn the stream on for a second. Yep. Even if it pauses and stutters, etc., we'll get something. Oh, well, that's a... Those dice are cool. Those dice are very cool. They're going to help a ton. It's definitely worth investigating, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's a... Those yep. dice are cool. Yep. Yep. Oh, we've got audio. Fantastic, we've got audio. In my typically fucking booming voice. So it's the... We want to go the Kickstarter stuff now, right? Surely. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Yep, so... Uh, now, we're, we're going to have a look at... Sorry. Uh, we're, uh, you're a fan of... He's a fan of fantasy. I, I'm more an yeah. apocalyptic type person. Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> but we're obviously... Move ahead. Yep. Move ahead. We're I'm obviously quite a fan of the Zombicide Black Plague. Yes. Right? Uh, we recently got the Zombicide Green Horde. In fact, we got two of them because of a shipping mistake. Yes. Now, we... We did try and send the back, one but back, but we, we never heard back from them. So, we just got all the Kickstarter exclusive stuff, like the Dragon, the Giant, etc. Now, we've opened one box already because we couldn't wait yep. that long. But we've got the rest <laughs> of it physically in its cardboard box still. So, we'll start by pulling this out and getting yes. that ready. I think we do a... Like, a, oh yeah, we got this stuff, blah, blah, blah. We take it out, we look at it, and then we're like, oh yeah, we also got all of this. <laughs> yeah? Now, it's that box yeah. there, isn't it? Yes. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, sure. Let's, I, I, I just need to put this over here. I mean, it's, it's pretty much black. Oh, wow, if I do that, it's fucking invisible. <laughs> cool, done. <laughs> oh, dear. Awesome. Alright, ready? Yeah. Uh, another yep. video segment. So again, you're going to know our names pretty well. We're going to do another intro. Oh. Alright, ready? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Gibbons vs. Games. I'm Riley Morse. I'm Damien Schneider. And today we'll be actually kick checking out the Kickstarter exclusive models and components for the new Zombicide Green Horde. Now, normally we would open all the boxes in front of you to give our first impression. We love these games, we couldn't wait that long. I'm sorry. So, yep. we've opened one of the boxes. <laughs> We've still got the rest of them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And that's There's a few models. Yeah, th this is the box that it came in. It was just kind of like, um, the guy came to deliver it. It was like, ah, oh, you, you, you've got a puzzle. And it's like, that, well, that, that actually is quite a decent puzzle. So, let's... Oh, boy. Let's... So, put that to the side. And yeah. Let's see what else we've got. Yeah. So, so, that is the hoard box. That comes with what, Damien? Uh, this has got, like, pretty much all the... Uh, things that they unlocked during the campaign. So all the extra models and mm -hmm. uh, and fancy stuff like that. Uh, so I'm I'm not sure what... I think a lot of that was Kickstarter exclusive, so you may not actually be able to get it. So this um, is stuff you could have bought. So this um, is... Yeah, so this, this is stuff that you should theoretically be able to get on the shelf later on. Uh, I'm going to sit back down because we're kind of off the screen. Yeah, look. At the moment, we're just going to discuss it. Okay. So this how, is about, a... how about you just chuck that down the side and we'll just pull things out. So, this is one I was excited for, simply because of the Kirag and Thorg character. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? So, yeah. we have a special guest, Paul Bonner's character designs for Zombicide. Yep. We have North, the halfling. Ah, there's a lot of parody characters in this. So, this is uh, Thingo from Game of Thrones, is it not? The dwarf. Tyrion? Is that the one? Does that look like Tyrion to you? Oh, or is it the guy from, um, uh, Stranger Things? That's what his face looks like. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yep. The guy with the lisp. I can mm. never remember names. I'm yeah. bad at names at the best times. So, we have a, another special guest pack, uh, Sean A. Murray. 
his character designs, which has three characters and it looks like an oh Innsmouth Inquisitor. So okay, yeah, interesting, cool. Yep. That's gonna look love it. Nice, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going up. I'm picking scale up. So what's this? What do we got? What do we got? We've got Liam. No idea who that's from. Well, is it what another one from? of the? It doesn't look like one of the Stranger Things people, though. No. Oh, unless it's the kid that goes asleep for the first whole season, so we barely know who he is. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen Stranger Things by now, what are you doing? <laughs> then we have the Rat King and the Swamp Troll. Ah, yes. I don't suppose they're playable, are they? No. Oh. no they're, they're like you, I think it's like a variant of the Necromancer. Oh, okay. Oh. Interesting. Mm. The the Rat King looks really good. Yeah. Yep. So that looks very nice. Now we're into... Oh my god. How much stuff did you buy? Um, okay Not then. all of it. This is not all the stuff that you could get from... The There's Greek... a reason these people got millions of dollars. <laughs> yeah. So, Zombicide. No rest for the wicked. Ah, so this is one of the big expansion box um, things that are available and... There's another dragon. Yes. Yes. This so is... this contains. <laughs> let's, let's just fancy clicker. Engage. <laughs> this contains fifteen hordes of rat, eighteen spectral walkers, a trebuchet, some cards, and a dragon. Now we've already got That's one in there. <laughs> so we've already got a dragon in there. Is it the same design? No, no. I I it's believe this dragon. one is bigger than the one that we saw in this box. Oh my. Um, God, this is going to take a while. Let's keep moving. Yep, yep. And then we have Zombicide, Friends and Foes. Now, this is actually expansion... Oh, Black Plague and Green Horde, because Green Horde's standalone-able, isn't it? Yes. So this contains, looks like, more Walker Zombies, Wolves, Cats, some type um, no, of... No, th these, these are your pets. So anything that is that sort of browny colour oh thing is playable stuff. Pets. All right, that's different. So you you've got some direwolf things. You've actually got like little tiny birdie sphinx thing there. I can't yeah, remember exactly some what kind it was. of vicious cat bastard. <laughs> Four characters, standard equipment cards, standard tiles. I wonder if that have its own sort of campaigns and maps. Uh, possibly. Possibly. We'd probably find out if we read stuff on the box. Yep. But yeah. And you know, <laughs> we're getting to open it, so yeah. who cares? Uh, yep. Let's. So. Uh, is that everything out of there? That is everything out of the big cardboard box we are... Bad. Unless you want to review styrofoam corners. I mean, they were very nice. Shh, 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 shh. Okay. okay, where do we start? I mean, let's start small. Right, let's go. You open one, I'll open one. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. Got a little strange things, kid. We really should get a knife. Scissors! <laughs> That'll work. Okay. Yeah. And plastic goes everywhere. The joy of having an office for these things now, though. Yes. Alright, I have Liam. Liam can hold a curved dagger. Oh, zombie link at level one. So every time zombies so I act... I think it might be him. Yeah. yeah. So. so every time zombies act... He's able to act, like get an additional action, I should say. Apart from that, you've got standard plus one action. We're assuming you know the game if you're watching this video. Plus mm. one action, plus one damage to melee, slippery, rotten as his ultimate. So, interesting. Alright, cool. So, starting off, mm -hmm. uh, so North of Halfling starts with a plus one free search action. Oh good, there's a new search monkey for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, our, our general tactic whenever we play this game is... Loot as much as we can, and then go and hit stuff with the big. We'll sticks. literally go to the nearest sort of four room building, hot gate one door, and just run in circles, looting, looting, looting till we're all loaded, and then we'll go slaughter things. Um, the models have been stepped up in quality. Yes, they really have. I've got a little bandage yeah. on the sword, but it's a really thin piece of plastic. But apart from that, the, the metal work or like the the work on his armor, just in general, is. Pretty gorgeous. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm, I'm reading facial expressions and everything on this. Like, I could hold yep. it up to a camera, but I, you're not going to be able to see it unless you're actually physically looking at it or you got someone with a really nice... Yeah. Um, just this is actually... 
good yeah. comment on the facial expression. I've really yeah. got that. You, you get some models that the art will show this and then it'll just be a really silly looking face. There's mm. a really defined, good looking smirk on this character, which yeah. is exactly what's in the artwork. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. it's pretty, pretty stellar. I mean, so let's that's just great. chuck that back in there. Those are the first of our... Let's line up characters and stuff over here. Or do we do we want to just have them out of the box? I mean, we're not going to keep them in that thing. No, we're not going to keep them in there. These are going away too. <gasps> sure. <sighs> Boom. So, just so you get a bit of an idea on how, how many... How much? Yeah. Uh, cards. Let's put cards in that corner. Cards over there. Okay. Um, keep these little boxes. Okay. Sure. You like those? They're, they're nice little... So then, why don't you open that and I'll open this? Yeah? Or do we want to open both the special guests? Let's uh, let, let's do it. Please? Please? I'm so excited for one of the characters in this. <laughs> there's two characters I'm super excited for. There's a giant and then there's this one. So. Yeah. This, so, one's, this one's got a little bit more um, non-human-esque sort of things. Mm, um, this, is, this is rather savage. Sort of um, primal in its character design. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so this guy's spent three years with Games Workshop Design Studio. Wow. Uh... Actually, yeah, looking at. <laughs> yeah, looking, looking at, at the, the designs York. is definitely. So he contributed to Mutant Chronicles, Rackham's Confrontation, Shadow Run, and Riot Minds as well. So this guy's been around the block. What about yours? Um, so uh, this guy's uh, done a lot of work with uh, like uh, D and D Online and oh, wow. uh, Kingdoms of Amala Reckoning. Woo! So played both of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Gateway, um, da, 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 the Book of Wizards. Yeah, come let's on. just come on. let's let's look at the fancy stuff. We want to see fancy stuff. Ah! I was just saying, come on to yours. Come on, saying, come on to the bit of plastic <laughs> that wouldn't open. <laughs> One by one? Um, yeah. This video could take a while. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> you cock <laughs> poor little dude. <laughs> alright, alright. So, we have... Oh, goodness. The three things are in here. Mm. Did you want some scissors for that? Yeah. Yes, yes, I would. Mind you, that's not going to be much easier. Okay, so straight away, how are you meant to get these out without damaging? Like, okay, well, well I'll, I'll go first because I've got a nice little snap lock bag. Sure. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, first thing to say, I mean, we're doing an unboxing. We're looking at the packaging. All of the stuff that you get for uh, the Zombicide games have are all nicely packaged that, and you do get some bends with some of the models, but on the whole, um, generally it's really pretty nice. good. And generally they design their models to try and avoid that sort of thing. Yeah. So they they yeah. do know their limitations okay. like most of the time. Birnbauer. Um, and is this, he a fish with uh, a he, gun? He, he is a fish with a gun. He is a fish with a gun. That's, that's kind of amazing. Um, okay, day then. So he's a fish with a gun, and he starts with lightning ball. So that would be a spell, and he he starts with something that you can put in his um, body slot thing. Oh, okay, yeah. That's that's really nice. Lightning ball. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, oh, and he actually starts with it. Ah, oh, mm. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. Interesting. Yes. Yeah, so um, plus one maximum range. Yes. Yeah. There's, huh. there's a couple of people have had that, okay. uh, like the Legolas knockoff character. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, okay. So, so uh, sort of ranged look, magic. Yeah, ranged magic. Uh, but then well, point blank. Interesting. Yeah. No. Well, that that just allows you to shoot at things. Uh, oh, you, you you can still use your range stuff um, In close up. Melee range. Yeah. Yep. Um. Cool. Yeah. Cool. He's gonna go in the lineup. Little fish lips. So, this is a Faolan. Normal necromancy rules. So, I guess he takes place of a necromancer. So, normal necromancy rules, plus any survivor suffers a damage to attack whenever they enter their zone, or when they enter your zone. So, wow. it's 
a necromancer that you can't just walk in and immediately give because it's going to hit you with two damage, which is that's, half your health bar. That's that's really interesting, um, especially considering that a lot of what we do as players is we don't use a whole lot of ranged characters, um, and it yeah. will just be like our powerhouses will just walk into a bunch of zombies and kill them. Uh, yeah. whereas, Reaper melee, etc. Yeah. Whereas that's gonna interesting. That's gonna be a really nice sort of change up to so, how we play. I'll start a second line back there. Yep. Yours. Um, so, I've got... Um, what's his full name? Uh, Grand Inquisitor um, Innsmouth. So... Right. Um, so, normal necromancer rules. Uh, plus, no line of sight can be drawn to Innsmouth's zone by actors outside of it. So For him, you have to get into combat too. Which... Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and that's his entire zone. So he'll obscure everything in his zone. That's how that's reading, right? No line of sight can be drawn to Innsmouth. So, oh, that's evil as hell. Yeah, that's... I mean, it's not so bad for us because, again, like you said, we don't rely on those ranged characters very much. Like mm. you're the one that uses them most. But yep. we have Courtney playing Reaper Melee character. T. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Morgana or. No, uh, yeah, yeah, Morgana. Uh, no, uh, Morrigan. Morrigan, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> One of them, and she just blends yeah. the zone. So that's not as tr- problematic as maybe that is. Yeah, well, for for our playstyle anyway. But if you have both of them in there, <laughs> okay. So you need to diversify. <laughs> yep. Good. Yeah. Excellent. No, All right. Fantastic. So I will. Uh, let's put it in there. There we go. So I will have a look at Carol Black Oak. So, maybe holding a Dwarven Hammer in the body slot. Uh, collection Runner, an additional action. Collector Fatty. So, that's new, this Collector. And then Collector Walker is her ultimate. So, maybe she gets bonuses for having a certain amount of things. Yeah. That's, that's going to be a cool thing to check up and yep. see what Absolutely. Those are. I wonder where those rules come in. Yeah. All right, we need to speed this up. Yes. <laughs> Holy um, hell, it's going to so take we, forever. So we've got Spellbones. He's he's his like creepy gangly thing. There's actually like little tiny dude underneath there as well. Nice. Which you don't actually see on the card, so that kind of surprised me a bit. Yeah. Um, Starts with Lucky. Okay. And Ghost Sight. All right. Zombie Link. Uh, and Rotten. Very much a supporting magic character. Yeah. Plus one dice roll to magic. Rotten means they ignore you if you're in their square. Um, Something like that. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Alright, I have Tola. So Tola's a giant orc. Feel how heavy that miniature is. Wow. That's solid as hell. He's a gorgeous miniature. Yeah. Uh, is and this is this truly is really beautiful. What's what's really interesting is this is less the um less the sort of orc that you see in uh, do they do they describe them as an orc or Oh, it's just very orc looking. Yeah, like it's it's very much the uh, Warcraft Warhammer sort of style yep. with the big extended jaw. Yeah, very much that large extended pronounced under jaw, etc. He's a replacement for Red Cap because he's got the plus one damage melee first level. Then he goes into Barbarian. Do we know what Barbarian does? I can't remember. It's not in one of any of the characters that we use no. frequently. Bloodlust melee. Uh, I usually play Rodney Redcap. I'm usually a big hitter early. Because mm. um, you need someone to deal with fatties and an early abomination just in case. Because you give a hammer and just whoop whoop whoop. But so that's 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 an interesting replacement, and that model's so much nicer than Rodney. <laughs> the models over all the expansions have just stepped up. They're yeah. just getting better and better and better. Cool minis, you know, they know their game. Yeah, they they call themselves cool mini or not. Yeah. So I assume that they're going to spend some time on that. Now. This is an interesting character. Um, so this is Kendra, and I think this is the reason why we might have ended up getting this box to begin with, um, uh-huh. just because a partner likes playing like the the shadowy um, female types. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so starts with slippery. So I believe you can just step out of zombies zombie zones. Yep. Um, and you've holy got a... mother of free actions. Yeah. Um, so just gets to do a lot of things, it looks like, as well as having telekinetic blast in the body slot if you yeah. don't want your and, armor. And it looks like you can cho- choose to go either melee or magic. Right. Um, so, yeah, it depends on whether you... Uh, and when you go around the clock, you can start picking up the others as well. But yeah, she looks really cool. So I'm super confused. Is this yeah. two characters in one? Two people have to play this? 
I'm not entirely sure. So this is Kirag and Thorg. It has two character cards. One is Kirag, one is Thorg. And then that's the model. <laughs> it is gorgeous, and I'm so excited for it. And it is huge. It is enormous. Oh, that's that's fish lips. He's kind of tiny anyway. He's kind of tiny. Um, he's he's fairly normal he's sized. Big. He's he's a yeah that's, enormous. That's and it's got this really cool tribal feel with this mask and just oh, you're home now. You're home. So really? <laughs> so Thorg starts with a free move action. And he starts with Tactician, so then Brothers in Arms, one damage, Brothers in Arms, Brothers in Arms. So maybe you don't have to take them both, but if you do, you get stuff. And what I'm wondering is, like, where's the rules for this guy explained? Yeah. This this is this is one of the things. Is that Kulmini are not famous for not, you know. I think it is actually two different characters. Yep. So if you are playing in smaller groups and stuff like that, it'd probably be something that you'd run as... Um, uh, yeah, as, as just, like, I'm playing these two characters together. Yep. It could be interesting playing as, um, like, two different people playing it. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, because it's, it's just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to move over here. It's like, no, I wanted to do stuff. Um, that's really cool. So, interestingly enough, to quick aside, uh, this is something you, we've started to see in, like, competitive video games, like uh, League of Legends Defense of the Ancients, mm -hmm. is you have characters with, which are two players in one. Okay. Right? So it's interesting that someone's bringing this to a board game mm. now like this. And I'm really excited for it. Like, we do play a lot of games where we play two characters and we play things on the hardest difficulty. Um, I'll immediately be playing that if we do. Just just <laughs> saying. If anyone tries to get this off me, I'll scalp them. Yeah. So that's awesome. And we are done with those boxes. So cool. before we hit... Uh, so... We would like these. But not the moulds. Yeah, not the moulds. So before we get to our major major boxes let's just quickly polish this off which would you like uh, troll river troll or rat king i'll do the rat king you'll do the rat king yeah <laughs> he's the rat king yeah uh, i think they are all like um they're all synergistic models so they um there we are all oh, right. Oh, we do actually get little rules. We get rules with these ones. That's helpful. So the Rat King is damage one, only takes damage to destroy, and only rewards one experience point. He follows the Necromancer rules. When he spawns, you also spawn the indicated number of swarm of rats with it, according to the current danger level. After the Rat King performs an extra activation, add one swarm of rats miniatures in its zone. Ooh, that's bad. Then all swarms of rats on the board get an extra activation. That is gross. Wow. Yeah, cool. Um, let's, let's... The Swamp it. Troll. I'll just keep reading what yeah, you want. Yeah, you read that out and I'll get these sorted. Swamp, swamp Troll does two damage and takes three damage to destroy as per most abominations. He exp uh, rewards five experience, again, as per abominations. Wounds inflicted by abominations can't be prevented by armor rolls. A yeah. damaged three or more weapon or dragon bile is required to kill an abomination. The Swamp Troll is spawned in the noisiest zone on the board if it's a waterhole zone. If the noisy... Oh, so that's, that's where the water starts to come yeah, in. Yeah, yep. If the noisiest zone is not a waterhole zone, the Swamp Troll spawns in the waterhole hole zone closest to it. If several waterhole zones are eligible, players choose yada, 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 yada. If there are no waterhole zones, the Swamp Troll spawns in the spawn zone closest to the noise zone instead. Excellent. Yeah, no, that's, that's kind of... Cool. Um, so, Swamp Trolls model is pretty good. Um, not my favourite. He's got some weird tusk things from his lower jaw. He's got some gills. It's he very... just has a very defined ass. <laughs> just putting that out there. Mm. Um, but he's he's well he's well enough. He's got some guts hanging out, so a bit Nurgle esque. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's quite humanoid yep. as well. Um, which I mean, I, I do like sort of monstery creaturey. Yeah, more bestial things. sort of yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, no, cool, cool. Uh, I've, oh, these are just the little cards. Little and cards here. for them to slot into the deck. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Fantastic. Um, let's get those out of the way. And actually, I really like the the Rat Kings 
Yeah. The Rat King looks a yeah. lot nicer, just style-wise for us. Mm. Yeah, like you've got... He's just holding a little bucket and there's this swarm of rats coming out. It's And he's got a big rat next to him. That's, Hold her that's, up. That's kind of cool. He's um, pretty nifty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're probably not going to see much there, but... We um, are working quick... on getting some sort of focus camera that yeah, we can yeah, move but... around. And he comes with a nice horde of rats in the tray, as always. The rat swarms are very nice. Looks like you've got two different styles. Yep. They're all right. They're a little fuzzy on detail in some points, but with a swarm type thing, you're always going to be. Yeah. That's okay. That's, that's nice enough. Hmm. So that's, that's cool. additional rat swarms on top of friends and foes, right? No, no rest for the wicked. One of those. One of those has... One of those has rats... That's cool. Uh, yes. So, rat swarms in no rest but wicked. Great. All right. Let's put the boxes to the side. Throw away the plastic inserts because who likes those? Rules. And the rules. rules uh, let's cool. let's keep the yeah. rules over there. Yeah. It's neat in this area. Okay. Okay. Let's go hoard box because we've already opened it. We'll just quickly yep. flick through the models in there because we don't really need to discuss them because we've seen them. Uh, we'll discuss them for you guys, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, this, this is just a whole lot of extra models. Like, we do have some rules for the different things in Gun here. Gun horse. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So should we start? So it comes with a whole bunch of variants on the abomination. So it comes yeah. with like nightmare zombie unicorns and big tentacle monsters. And... Yeah. Do we even want to... View as being from above. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it comes in this big, beautiful layout with all the relevant cards. You know, each one has their own specific insert yeah, it, it area. No, I'm pretty sure yours does go over there. Oh, so. whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yep, so they're all fairly gorgeous. Yeah. That's a bit um, more of a standard abomination. Yeah, well, it's uh, they, they do a lot of colour coding and stuff like that, which is, is quite nice, particularly if you don't get around to painting them. Um, so any of your standard sort of enemies are this grey thing. Any of the uh, orc-specific stuff uh, is that green colour. Also comes with the other playable character I'm interested in, the Bloody Giant, which even compared to Torag and Thorg, is still a bit taller. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Not a ton, and definitely skinnier, but... Still, still quite impressive. Bloody cool. And then it comes with the giant. Uh, it comes with another blister. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Uh, I think let's leave him out. Okay. And let's leave the dragon out so we can compare it to the other dragon. Yes. yes. Yep. The wings hold in very nicely on their own. If you're not a, you know, leave it out forever, gorgeously painted type of guy, which Damien is not. Well, no, is like what? All right, I've confused Too myself. Too many double negatives. And we have Dragon, which, that's... you know, Torag and Thorg. Yeah. Right? That's that's right. kind of huge. Enormous. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous, and I love it. Can't wait to see how it compares. Okay. And the other thing is, if we just swap to top camera, because I'm not sure that we'll be yeah. pulling all of these out. Um, we've got... Oh, let's, let's get the plastic off. Layer off. Yep. There we are. We've got, now, um, there's a whole lot of extra just orc models. There's another necromancer. There's more runners, walkers, that sort of thing. Um, All the brown, then, is extra characters. Yeah, that's... All of it. Uh... It's nightmare fuel. Yeah. There's so many options now, it's crazy. So I'm wondering if we do need to figure out some sort of randomization thing, which could be fun, and that way we've... It could, but I'm always going to default to Torag if you yep. give me the option. Yeah. So uh, we've also got <laughs> oh, no. Monty Python fans. Um, this tiny little thing here—it's going to be really difficult to see on any sort of camera or whatnot. Yeah. You've got the Abominable Bunny, which is literally the rabbit from Monty Python, and yep. insta kills everyone with no saves available if you touch it. Yeah, you have to kill it with with fire, <clears throat> with dragon yep. fire. Um, or I believe in um, in the items and things that we've got in here, we've got like a whole stack of cards. Uh, you've actually got something which is suspiciously similar to the holy hand grenade. Hand grenade. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's pack this back up. Let's yeah. move on to the newer boxes. Go up. Get that away. Get this. 
This goes generally up, oh, right. Okay. Bam, bam. So oh. lots of beautiful stuff. There. How are we going? Okay. Let's get that off the table. All right. Friends and foes. Friends and foes. Okay. Scissors. Um. Yeah. Just make this so much easier. There we yeah. Lots of new stuff today. <laughs> Lots of new stuff. Okay. We're still going to play with all of this. It's going to take us a long time to work through these characters. Yeah. All right. It's on the side, friends and foes. Yeah, and I've just gotten to the point where I played pretty much every character except for the staples that other people used. Yeah. Um, oh. Okay. Oh, just in time for you to not be bored then. Yeah. So it um, does look like it's a full game. It's like a full, well, full expansion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, this is... So we've got rules and quests in here, which is nice. Yep. Um, nice tiles, sort of cathedral-esque looking, and some towns. Lots more water for that river troll. Yep. So that's very nice to see. Okay, so standard stack of tiles. I don't think we'll break them apart just yet. Got to keep moving. So that's a much more vibrant green, again, to separate the orcs. That's real neon. Yeah. Courtney will love those. <laughs> then it looks like we've got all your pets there. Yeah, well, and I mean, let's, got... let's actually look at them while we're while we're talking about them. Is that is that cake? No, no, it's just very stuck much on. stuck on. Ah, uh, yes, it is. It is taped. It is taped. We have tape. We have scissors. And more tape. More tape. Rock, paper, scissors, tape. Yeah, tape all those ones. Uh, all right, so we've got all our pets up the top here. We've got wow, the abomination looks cool. It's kind of like a, a nature yeah. goat, like shamanistic sort of thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, again, that's... very humanoid. Mm. Okay, and then all the zombies are sort of again that shamanistic approach. Our fur coats. We've got some sort of bulging arms, lots of thorns, etc. We've got two dogs. Two tiny griffiny dudes and two wolves. Uh, these these actually look like little flying cats. Do you look at them closely? Ew. Ew. <laughs> then we have four characters, which I will pull out. All right. Okay, so if we set so these back into their box. Yeah. And then I think set them aside. Pop you back in there, my friend. They're fairly nice. Um, A bit lesser quality model-wise... Yeah, yeah. A bit, to, bit less detailed than some I mean, of the expansion characters. Yeah, compared to the characters, I think they're a lower quality. It might be that sort of thing that they're doing. It's like, okay, we don't need as much quality for your your regular sort of foot troops, but um, they're going to keep it up for... Um, yeah, yeah, the, the specials, basically. Don't eat my cards. I'm not. Again, this packaging is really annoying. You're going to get that with any sort of board game and whatnot, though. I think it's it's always difficult to... Now there's, like, Riley slobber over... Oh, everything. you'll deal. That's... See how annoying it is? See how scissors don't help in the slightest? Yeah, that's... Why, cool mini? When we're trying to praise you constantly. So we've got standard item cards here as well as your horde cards. So taint the horde. Tainted walkers, tainted walkers. So they're tainted cut uh, creatures. Okay, there's no tainted runners or tainted fatties or tainted crows. It's walkers, abominations. Oh, and they included a few more enter the hordes, which sure. works with the green horde mechanic. Other than that, we have heavy daggers, heavy swords, horn bows, maces, plague mask. <laughs> that looks awesome. To tainted blood spray. You're immune to tainted blood spray. That sounds horrible. <laughs> Power wave. Can you just imagine the characters going? It, it's a dagger for combat spells. It adds another dice to combat spells. Nice. Nice. I, Isn't there a character that was led Power Wave in the 
Yes, someone was allowed... The guy that had the range increase was allowed power wave. Uh, him. Him? Him, I think. Cool. Was allowed power wave in the body slot. Oh, okay, so it's called a GOG instead of a dog. Uh, no, no, there's there's uh, GOG oh, and Magog. You've right. got... Um, Seth and Venardus. So they're, they're, they're items, are they? It looks like it. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah, so they're they... items. Yeah. So right down the end, we have these lovely puppers sort of thing. Yeah, so you've got um, more of your standard sort of dogs, then you've got wolf type things, and then you've got your little cat sphinx stuff. Ew. <laughs> so what do they... So the handler gets plus two dice in melee, plus one dice in melee, and I suppose that's more a utility type. Interesting yeah, to see yeah. how they work, for sure. Mm. Cool. All right. Yeah. Interesting. Cabral, uh, this gentleman here, uh, like that, I don't know, uh, gets shove, actions, barbarian, bloodlust, melee. He's a very standard sort of choppy character and can hold a heavy dagger. That's, that's nothing particularly special. The model is, again, it's that increased quality yeah. Over say the zombies themselves, it's it's going right up there. Intricate, you know, work on the fur, the facial expressions are good. He's a far more traditional orc, um, the m more humanoid orc, I should say. Yeah, yeah. not necessarily traditional. So, right. um, I've got Solvig, yep. who's looking like a very sort of Norse esque yep. character. Um, can hold a heavy sword, uh, has born leader. I can never remember what that does because it's not part of our... You can pick someone to take an additional action every turn, can't you? I'm fairly mm. sure because I play that chap occasionally with born leader. Yeah, yep. Hmm. <laughs> okay, what else? Um, so wow, you've got... combat, combat, combat. Again, uh, brother in arms. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have to... Maybe if someone else is on your square. Which is probably why he has so much of it. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah. yeah. I'll put her out. Um, I'll leave him for you, shall I? So then we've got Caitlin, which is, again, a Brothers in Arms at first level for this one. So Brothers in Arms plus one die combat. So I assume you to get the plus one dice in combat, you'd need to have someone else in your square. And then free actions, sprint, free actions, and extra damage. So fairly standard combat character, but a bit more teamwork reliant. Uh, which is typically how we play it anyway, besides Courtney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stay in the same square and just hack and hack and hack and walk down the field. And she'll just whoop, 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 off that way. And, and somehow be able to take care of everything by herself anyway. Either that or, on a very rare occasion, get absolutely smacked and be like, hey, Help! Running backwards. It's great. Um, so, Doran... Um, is, yeah, uh, very much like a, looking like your basic sort of spell caster yep. class. Um, so you got plus one die, uh, plus one die roll to magic. Ooh. I was about to say, it's like, oh, I've seen these. Yeah. Ooh. That's, okay. That, That's that nice. Could be interesting. That's very nice. Um, you can hold power blast in your, uh, spot, although you can get spell book later on, so... Um, yeah, that's just going to almost nullify that. Um, but you can get Spellbook, which allows yeah. you to just cast spells from your backpack anyway. Yeah, it, I guess it depends on whether you want to go for a utility early or just raw power, which limits your options. Actually, but... yeah, yeah, because you can just go an extra dice, and when you've already got the plus one to the dice as well. Yeah. Um, and then you can do that again when you get to red, which... Well, okay, yeah, yeah, you can just use him to just smash yeah absolutely. Um, so get one of the more powerful spells uh, earthquake give... in yeah. like inferno or whatever it is something mm. like that yeah get extra dice extra um, like extra you know oh. results etc yeah no okay cool no, awesome that's, that's that's actually more interesting than I first thought um, from glancing at his card 
it's good finally, pets. we have no rest for the wicked. Yes. Uh, All right, this is big dragon time. <laughs> um, do you want to look from above? There we go. Yeah. Help me. <laughs> Help me! So this looks like spirits and yeah. stuff. Oh, We've got blue. Blue. And finally. I've seen it. I've seen it. There it is. That is enormous. Okay. <laughs> Get, yeah, just take take the whole thing out. I think we need to get rid of the tape. Scissors. Scissors. I got this one. Okay. Oh no, I've got two tape. No. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Uh. Woo, boy, necromantic that. dragon. Yep, yep. Uh, they've actually done right. a really nice thing with the the art style and whatnot. Yeah, uh, where they just. I love how it. Yeah, it just shows. Yep, there's a dragon on these spaces. Do it. Okay, well, so I mean, enormous. we we can see it. We're not gonna we're not gonna hold on ceremony. No, 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 no. We're far we too just... excited. Well, that's a fair swig bigger than the other one. Yep. Okay. Wow. All right, yep. hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Basic dragon. Uh, do we want to... I don't know. That'll... Kind of Other work. dragon. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bigger. Yeah. <laughs> That's... What's up, Dad? <laughs> and, I mean... Holy we hell. were saying before that the foot troops didn't have the detail on them. Mm. This, this definitely has the oh, detail yeah, on the it. the dragons definitely come with So you've got all the textured skin and stuff like that. You can actually see, like, the muscle and sinew and, and whatnot yep. going in there. Damien, plus, nice paint job. Yeah. That, yeah, that's that's gorgeous. It's it's not too heavy. It's not mm. going to wobble or it's not particularly unbalanced or anything. You're able to knock your table around, no worries with that, which can be a concern when you've got this sort of spiral tail support thing, but... Yeah, no, he's nah, fine. It's grand. It's great. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, all right. I really don't want to fight that. I really don't want to have to tangle with that thing. Well, I mean, is that the point where... You, like, I mean, I don't even know how you're supposed to kill the dragons. Is that something where... Surely Dragon Ball does not do the job. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. Um, Rodney we... is ready. <laughs> oh, wow, look at will the be chest. Oh, God. Oh, um... we're all checking, are we? Yeah, I'm just going to see if, like, just knowing how to kill it. Um, well, while you look, we've yeah. got some rat swarms. They look to be, yes, they are. They're the same designs as the one that came with the special character. More likely this was designed before the special character. But that means they're nice enough. They're perfectly serviceable. We have two different types of spirit models. Looks to be maybe spirit walkers and spirit, spirit runners. Both of which are... Nice designs, but again, because they're your foot troopy type dudes, they're a bit lower quality. They're a nice blue colour, which again, distinguishes them if you're not going to paint them. Um, meaning your board presence is quite nice, because you've got all this multicolour going on, everything's themed, it's, it's quite yeah. nice. And then you've got another blister. Uh, is this the same size as the other one? You didn't pull the other blister out, did you? Um, no, uh, that, that is exactly the same model. Exactly the same model? Alrighty, yeah. there we go. Um, blister's a very nice model, blister's quite detailed. Mm. I'm excited to see how that works, because the, the trebuchet is really powerful, uh, but we've only played with it once or twice, because again, we've just been busy. So yeah, um, how does um, it work? I, I'm just seeing us... So there we go. Ballista is one way to take care of the big dragon. Ah, so that there, there is a deck for the dragon. Yes. Um... It's it's different from the actual spawn cards of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so... Uh, so the Necromantic Dragon is removed from the board whenever it is hit with a damage two or more weapon, matching its current vulnerability card, or a ballista. Now, this isn't killing it. This is just it gets removed from the table. Um, so we want to look for the vulnerability cards. There oh, we go. Here we are. So we've got, we've got like a small deck of them. Um, so, 
uh, what it looks like um, you'll do is whenever the dragon is out, you'll have a, a vulnerability. Again, I, I haven't read the rules too closely here, but um, so this says the necromantic dragon is vulnerable to the ballista and melee weapons. So, so you two have damage melee. Yeah, you have yeah. to hit it with a melee weapon. After you hit it with that, it flies up and then it'll come back later on. Um, and then uh, it's um, uh, vulnerable to ranged weapons. Yep. Um, and then you keep going through and once you've gone through all of these cards that's when you kill it okay interestingly we also have these weird sort of compass ones that are relying on a dice roll so maybe this is where it moves slash what it does or is spawning etc um, yeah so that's to do it to know the direction to push a survivor put the card parallel to any edge of the board then oh yeah so it looks like it shoves you if you survive it or if it lands etc okay yeah. interesting hmm well, that's a ton of exciting stuff. Yeah. That's re that's such a cool model. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just like looking at the footprint over there. I mean, we've only just taken and, out a yeah, couple of the And that's a here. fraction of them. Like, that's that's half of that's... what we got on the board. Mm. And again, this wasn't everything that was available. That's just crazy. The amount of content that exists for this game currently is just immense. Um, I'll be surprised if we finish playing all the characters before the next expansion. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well done, Cool Mini, as always. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be problems with the rules. Unfortunately, with Cool Mini, there always is. But... Yeah, but I mean, it's it's the sort of thing where the rules are simple enough that... Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. You work yes. around it, and just the models and the gameplay is totally worth it. Zombicide yeah. is a fun game. Mm. It's it's very much just pick up and have a bash with it, rather than, yeah. oh, we want to sit down for a, um, an intense sort of game struggle sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, if you do that, play Gloomhaven. <laughs> I will promote that sucker to the ends of the earth. It's a good game. All right, cool. Great. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank I've been you. Riley Morse. I'm Damien Schneider. We've been Slinky... Uh, Gibbons versus, versus games. games. There we go. Right. And we will catch you next time. Cool. See you then. Well, okay. and now, now we... Now we pack it up, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, look. This is the fun bit the stream gets to watch. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, I wonder if my partner's here yet. Do, 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 do. Keep packing. That's such a big model. That's hey, you know how you're looking for a new Warhammer army? Purchase like seven more of those and do a dragon army. Do a zombie dragon army. There you go. Vampire counts. Go. Oh, I mean, there's enough necromancers and yep and stuff like that. That'd be actually a really good idea. Use this stuff as a zombie army. That'd be so good. <laughs> Tell me that's not amazing. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to play it at GW, but it, you know, it would annoy Wes. Look, it works. Uh, Did the cards just go on top of you? Yeah, yeah they actually have a slot there. Uh, spin it, because it'll go on top of the blister. Well, what time is it? That's not too bad. So we've powered through those two and some downtime and stuff in about two hours. That's about right. Yep. Sort of an hour per dice forge won't have been that long, etc. That's not too bad at all. So we should have time for Lucidity. Which I got ages ago and he didn't let me open because like, oh, we have to unbox it all. Gave Bastard. you the option. No, you didn't. Ah, <sighs> uh, Damien. Yeah, is that the wrong box? Hmm? No, no, no. I'm just losing my mind. It's fine. So that one didn't come with tiles. No. That's just enemies. I mean, let's be honest, that box is the dragon. Who cares about everything? Oh, no, the spirit's pretty cool. At least I like the spirits right now. So what goes in here? Uh, those two, and those two. You go there. You go there. Look, we're not going to get all the characters away. You go there and you go there. Yes, but I'm going to try. No, I'm not. No, nah, fuck this shit. Hell with it. Yeah, no, we've got extra boxes and stuff. We've got containers reason. for this sort of stuff for a reason. Yeah. No, I think we'll we'll have a game and then we'll um, yeah sort out how all this stuff fits together.
for the stream people because this is the whole point of this, right? Do the more like, oh, this is our life sort of bit. <laughs> so we got so far, including Star Spangled Banner, Walker. Yeah, uh, we've got Where's Spock. We've got Santa. Santa. Yep. Uh, we're, they're not gonna be seen yeah. very easily on the thing, but yeah. But yeah, we've got a lot of stuff. We're probably gonna need another one of these now. Yeah. Look. Um, we're, we're not gonna pack stuff into that. Oh, okay. I suppose that's not gonna fit. Oh, I mean, I can rip the wings off. Mm. Wait, were these? So that's runners. That's runners there. Um, Let's so, put rats in there as well, right? Um, why are abominations over here? Abominations should be like with the uh, fatties. It, it or makes something. them easier to find. Actually, put them in the. Okay, put them in the specials. Yeah. So that means he goes in there too because he's an abomination variant. Yep. Um, but all the specials will go. In there. Yeah. Okay. All the specials. Oh. Sure. He's hollow. Weird. And he's got that. Weird. Yeah. And then, so, these characters are easy enough to add. And then we have a problem. Um, no, that's, that's gonna work. Like we said, we have a lot of characters. That works. Hold yep. on. See you, Torek. <laughs> See you, baby. <laughs> See you, baby. Ah, this way. Oh, yeah, the oh, dragon. No. Yeah. Uh, we store all the card stuff in Green Horde box, yeah? Green Horde box is really full though, isn't it? Um, no, no, that's... Uh, all the cards actually go in the... Is that just the tiles? Uh, that's the... Uh, no. Oh, okay. Other stuff. Oh, okay. Things are sticking to my page. No. Oh. No! Oh, that were the... Casualty cards. Casualty cards? Yeah, when the table got flipped. Oh, right. Yes. Surely we can fit all these character cards in here somewhere. Yeah. Um, do we have spawn cards? Yes, we do. Uh, don't try and get them in that hole. No? Okay. The storage for this game is getting ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. We we might have to work on a better system. Yeah. 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 Yeep, deep, deep. Like a room. <laughs> you want to move again, right? No. Um. So I've got items. What are you looking for? You're looking. For... Place to put the characters. Are uh, items? More items. Yeah. Items. Oh, we didn't get any more dice. Items. Spawning. Spawning is that. And spawning. Uh, wait, are they in... What the fuck? They have their own weird thing. You can play them as... Um, this is... This is interesting. Oh, this Ziploc bag is not enjoying its life. Come on, let's just keep moving. Yeah. We can investigate later. Um, so, I mean, there should be a character card. They, they weren't in the box or anything, were they? No, I don't think so. Um, it's got to be in Green Hall, right? I thought I tried to get everything, um, everything that we needed to play in the one box. Yeah, this is got nothing. Oh, okay, really? Oh, it's, it's all things that we don't necessarily need. Yeah. Yep. We've got all the sound tokens and stuff in there. Okay, so what are the character cards? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, right, they're here. Oh, I, God damn I, did a, I did a smart thing. Oh, you did a wedge. Yeah. Uh, uh. Clever ducky. Yep, yep, yep. Don't. Ducky's extinct, let it go. Alright, 
Shane's almost here, so I might head down if you just finish packing. Yep. And then I think it's time for drinks before the next one, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Are we going right. to can this? No, no, no. I think it. I think you can continue. Just don't do anything embarrassing. No. No one wants to watch me just put stuff in a box. You can talk. Regale yep. them with tales of your life. <laughs> All right. We'll be back. The stream will return. Dun dun dun. Dun dun. But I really want to keep it all as one video. I want to keep it as one stream. Like, people can tune out. Yeah, stuck it. <laughs> regale them. Regale, regale, regale. I shall return. What is that? No, no! Some fancy music to put on in the background for this sort of stuff. Fancy. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, okay. Slightly larger bags. It's the answer to everything. Wow, that really is only just slightly larger. And now lights are falling down. That's amazing. Okay. Now, fun part, trying to get everything on the shelves.
belong. West Virginia. <sighs> something, something. I don't know that line. Take me home. <laughs> Country roads. Alrighty, how are we going? Almost got this packed up. <laughs> sort of. It's so much mess just for one fucking game. Holy hell. Yeah. Uh, wrong Why? box. Oh. Wrong box. You're a monster. We have two thin Ziploc baggies. What do you want? Uh, ditch them. Ditch them? Yeah. Uh, ditch them. Ditch them. Alrighty, in that case, it's on to the next one, right? I believe so. Uh, well, let's get rid of baggies and drink. Right. Uh, I'll put this away. Manage. Whatever. Whatever's good with me, by the way. <laughs> you know I don't care. Take me home. I just realised I put my magic cards where the fucking box was meant to be. Country roads to a place where I belong. West Virginia. Take me home. Country roads. Ah, nice new office chair. Ugh. That's a lot of stuff. Like, is there any need for that much zombicide stuff? Probably not, eh? <laughs> Good lord. Ludicrous. Look at. It takes basically all of that, besides the blue. It takes all of that, and that's not all the boxes. What the fuck? It takes all of it, except the one cubicle. That's not all the boxes. Well, I guess there's Charterstone there. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one exception. Fight me. <laughs> yeah, Good. Charterstone's probably going to have to go to a different shelf. Yeah. If we get anything else as well. Yeah. Good lord. Okay. Today on, we produce way too much stuff. Drink? <laughs> That's my third title. Take me home. Country roads. Cool. Awesome. What's in the cool minis box up here? That's the... Oh, I see. It's a copy of Green Horde. Yeah. Hmm. We've also got the vast expansion we need to open at some point. Yeah, I mentioned that and you're like, no, we've got too much boxes. Ah, I mean today, yeah, just like earlier when we were mentioning games. Yeah. Uh, and all the sub terra. Yeah, I mentioned that stuff, but yeah. You know what we should probably do? We should probably play sub terra at some point. Yeah. We did yeah, the exactly. opening video. That'd be a great idea. Oh mate, there's Monopoly we have to open. Why do you have an unopened Monopoly? Courtney. Why does she have an unopened Monopoly? Would you prefer she had an opened one? Point paid. <laughs> no, mate. Roll to move is the future of gaming. What on earth? This is a mineral water esque thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh crap! This is what? a this is lemon and lime. Oh, dude, no, it's fine. No? You're right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. We should also do some Grim Slingers games at some point. Mm. Grim Slingers is fucking cool. There is a chicken in a wizard's hat! <laughs> yeah, because we haven't played any new stuff, have we? Oh. No, we haven't played the expansion. The Northern Expanse or whatever it's called. Yeah, Northern Territory. Northern Territory. Just, it's an unfortunate name being an Australian. Yeah. So yeah. I don't want to go back there. NC was a shithole. <laughs> Sorry if you're from the NT, but there is nothing to do. Once you go to Litchfield Park a couple of times, you are done. And the Leanne Water Park, I guess. Mm. Seriously. 
fuck that. You might. can see the crocodile house. True, Adelaide River Cruise. That's true. There you go, there's three things. Cool. I'm genuinely trying to think if there's anything else. Zone 3 closed down, I was told, which was disappointing. Laser tag, but just so good. So, so, so good. Not these gimmicky little stupid gun. <sighs> disappointing. Anyway. So what are we looking at next? We're looking at lucidity, yeah? We'll stop there. Yeah, so... We'll do an intro, grab it down. and I haven't really been getting it down and then doing the intro. Mm. Yeah, alright. You'll still be able to take it out of the box. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I just need to pop that over there. Thanks, Greg. Yay, Larry Moss. it cost to put stuff on the cardboard box? Like, how necessary it's... was that, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, like, I mean... Like, if that's five cents a box, and he sent out thousands of copies. Yeah. But, I mean, the thing is, that's, that's advertising. And you're advertising to the person yeah. who's already bought it. Yeah. Or to the postie who's delivering it. Because no one's going to keep this. I don't care what hut's on it. Hmm. I don't know. If we ever meet him again, maybe have an ask. Yeah. Because it's weird. Definitely weird. No, well, I mean, Cool Mini do it as well. Um, do they really? They have, yeah, they've got all their stuff plastered all over the boxes. Um, y- yeah, but logo, I understand. Art uh, like that? They've got, like, Green oh, Horde they? and stuff written on it as well. Oh. Um, hmm. Alright, scissors me. Another show segment. Let's do this. Ready? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Don't stab me. I need living. You'd live. It's not like I missed the inside of the leg and missed the artery. It's fine. It just hurt. Let's get tinnitus. Get there, Clint. All right. <laughs> Casually. That'd be a great little thing to have at the start. <laughs> <laughs> you know how we clip in the little funny bits casually? You just... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gibbons vs. Games. I, of course, am Riley Morse. I'm Damien Schneider. And we are here to actually unbox a game that we physically saw during its testing phase. Uh, Back in LFG, looking for gamers, gamers, last year in Sydney, we met a man by the name of, I believe it's Shannon Kelly. Probably should have looked that up beforehand, but I won't. (laughs) You'll find out soon enough. Now, I played that game, was so thoroughly impressed with it, I believe I'd back the deluxe pledged here immediately. I really liked it. Um, the aesthetic of it, everything looked lovely. And it finally arrived. Uh, it arrived a while back. This unboxing is a bit late. We were moving office. So, Shannon, if you ever see this, I'm really excited. So, <laughs> let's open this sucker up. Eh. So, we've got art on the box. It's kind of odd. Yeah. Kind of cool. That's not too bad. It's good looking art. This game's creepy. I like it. Whoa. Whoa. Lots of stuff. Okay. Lots of stuff. Cool bony dice. I believe these are like Kickstarter exclusive or deluxe exclusive dice. I can't quite remember. I fired and forgot. (laughs) They're pretty. They've got the standard game mechanic symbols on them, etc. Oh, I love the sound of a good handful of dice. Hmm. Okay. This is like a... little chunks and stuff in them. Yeah. It's yeah. weird. Like so, their little broken teeth. <laughs> so this is a lot larger box than I remember it being. Oh, it's a sleeve on two boxes. Okay. Yep. Okay. So. Lucidity. Six-sided nightmares. So this is a engine buildy dice rolling type game where I believe you're a kid trying to escape creatures that eat you in your nightmares. 
there is player elimination, but then players come back as some of those nightmares. Uh, so you're never sitting out doing nothing, but the game can majorly shift how it plays, really. So, we have two boxes in a sexy sleeve. Made in China by Longpack. Uh, yep. Here's a local Australian guy, obviously part of the uh, Tabletop Game Design Association Australia, which we are also members of. Yeah. TGDA, and they've got the lovely TGDA logo there, actually. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah, great. It's very nice for the guys. Yeah, I see. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, actually, on yeah. the back, this deluxe box set of Lucidity comes with the standard game plus a box full of forbidden treasures and expansions to upgrade your game. There we go. Cool. <laughs> so, this is much more what I'm familiar with. This is looks like the basic game. This looks like the expansion and goodies. And it's got... Uh, what is it called? A spot something. Uh, a spot UV? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. it's got like a spot <clears throat> UV lucidity and an artwork there that you can... It looks like you can see on the camera with all the glares and all that lovely <laughs> stuff. So, spot base game? Mm -hmm. Then expansions? Yes. All right. Oh, I'm super excited. I'll get these back in a little baggie for you or... Uh, no, I'll leave them out for now. Okay. We'll see how they compare to other dice and the colours and the designs and yada, 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 Come on. How are you so much better at this than me? Like, I should be better at it, right? With the nails? Yeah. Oh, I'm breaking out. <laughs> the artwork is as nightmarishly gorgeous as I remember. Uh, yeah, Shannon Kelly. There we go. Alright, we got it right. It's always a good start when I get the Blake's name right. Alright. Okay. Alright. So we have an FAQ and overlooked rules on the inside of the cover. Interesting. That's interesting. If it's going to production, why wouldn't you just slap it in the rule book? Uh, well, I mean, that's there as a... You will see that whenever you open the box sort of thing. Like, yeah. I mean, quite literally, it was the first thing that you saw. And so if it's kind of reminding people that these are um, things that are commonly missed... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, overlooked as in commonly missed rather mm. than overlooked as in didn't put it in the rule book. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's a nice little art piece on the back of the rule book. We have a 15 page rule book. There is a hard mode. There are, of course, credits and testers and yada, yada, yada. Do you want to click? What? It's already top down. Hey. No, I thought you'd. Yeah. No. So it's, uh, it's a bit, maybe a bit plain in the rule book. Just like, we've just come from doing Dice Forge, which is very bright. Yes. Yep. Like, maybe the... I guess the symbols are generic to all the different coloured dice. I so think it'd be I might difficult. have something to say about mm -hmm. um, once we get to whatever... Oh, no, they're, they're cards or something, are they? Yeah, they'll be. Ah, oh, okay, right. Because I, I thought that that was looking like it was going to be colour and then this is black and white to denote different things. But, yeah. Um, I don't know. Um... That might scare off a gamer or two when it's just like sort of a wall of texty black and white. Hmm. But it's not a huge rule book either. That's it's true. not your Nine enormous Kumilis or not. Uh, no, uh, 15. 15? Yeah. Thanks. Well, 14 of actual rules. All right. Well, that's that. Sure. Then we have these. What are these? They're just pieces of artwork. Some pretty pieces here. I believe this is a piece of artwork for each of the fears, each of the um, nightmares. So I remember, I think I played as him at LFG, which is fear or something? <laughs> Cannot remember. All right, so here we have the sort of the character sheet. So this game's all about rolling beautiful colored dice, uh, picking certain symbols and racing down a track, essentially. Um, while trying to avoid monsters that are going to eat you and cause negative effects. And each time you claim a dice, it had a special ability. Now, it's up to four players. We have got four of these things. Yep. We do have, like, the linen texturing and stuff like that yeah. on it as well. Oh, um, and there you go. It's, um... And then, if you ever lose, you flip it over and you become, like, one of the primals. Um, okay, so he's gone for a, a top flip rather than, like, a side flip. Which is how I usually do things. So that's interesting, but whatever. You have to pick something, right? Okay, it's very cool. The artwork is gorgeous as always. I like on the reverse side, in much by contrast to that, that it's sort of a 
it's grayscale, black and whited. Yeah. Well, so I mean, you've got the spot color on it, and yeah. because it's it's black with a little bit of uh, white, it's on really it. striking. Yeah. 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 That's great. I really like that. So then, let's get these over here. We also have the colored dice. Now, this is the main part of the game. Each dice will have a separate effect. Uh, each dice represents one of the different nightmares, etc. Uh, these dice are relatively unchanged from what I remember at LFG. And that's not a bad thing because these dice were pretty much finished anyway. They are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I've got to love that sound. <laughs> They're a good quality dice. They're not your cheap light plastics. They've got some weight to them. They're semi-transparent and the standard gameplay symbols, the various values and the, I believe it's the nightmare symbol. So we have blue, green, red, and yellow. Yeah. Then we have these four. Mm -hmm. um, standard clear gems. Oh, actually, is that different? And I'm not entirely sure what these are for. I can't quite remember there being gems. Who knows? Yeah, that's... I, I don't remember those. I don't either. remember there being gems. Let's have a look. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be a fairly short unboxing. So let's just have a quick peek. At what this could be. While you're looking at that, uh, one of the things that I'm I'm just wondering about is, uh, like, have they done any sort of like dice weighting, like uh, actual make sure testing? Because um, yeah. uh, these the yellow dice, they're they're fine because they're actually symmetrical on each side, and so you probably will get a uh, quite a standard sort of roll with that. But um, standard deviation. Uh, but over here we've got. Uh, a little bit more variation yeah. to it, so it's not like the same thing on either side. So it'd yeah. be very exciting if you had done that level of research and work into it. Um, yeah, like I mean, but as far as like that sort of weighting, it's it probably not be. going to affect anything. I was just curious in terms yeah. of people who are hardcore into making sure that everything is mathematically Even exact, and perfect, and yeah. yeah. Well, I can't really find what these do at a quick flick through, so we'll move on. So we have four little clear gems for whatever reason. So let's and then these dice. There's a lot less of these beautiful bone sort of fleck dice. I'm not quite sure what he calls them. Yeah, you're right. They're chunks of stuff inside. Yeah, very strange. I'm wondering if it is supposed to be the teeth because I know that's a common motif in still like dreams and nightmares and stuff like mm. that. Um, is like loose teeth and whatnot, which would be kind of cool because that's going into the whole psychology, yeah, uh, sort of field and whatnot. Um, that would show an impressive level of sort of research mm. into this sort of, you know, theme. Alright, let's get all these dice out here. Have a nice display of it all. So uh, that when so we, we want do... them all out of the box? No, no, no. Just no. laid out in this area. Just so it looks pretty. And then, now, uh, the... <sighs> the dice are chosen at random. You pull a certain amount out. And when we were playing, it was just... I believe it was like a... What was it? It was like just a tiny little baggy sort of thing, or was it just the lid of the box? Um, it was something. I, I think it was actually still a bag. It just didn't have any any print. Well, this has sort of is that it? It's sort of that spot UVing sort of logo yeah, it, again. Oh, it's just like a, a laminate yeah. sort of thing on top of it. And in this, you will simply you'll put dice of varying colors and types in, and then you'll pick a few out and you'll choose which ones to use if I remember the mechanics correctly again this was well over a year ago a lot has happened since then yes sorry that's very nice it's a good size bag you're not going to get hands stuck in that really mm. um, maybe very large gentlemen with big hands might find that a tiny bit awkward but if that's the case you just use the box Pretty is what, I, what I would do um, something like that Finally, we have what looks like the actual nightmares themselves. So, we have red, which is the primeval of fear. The yellow, which is nightmare of imprisonment, nightmare of envy, and nightmare of depths. Then we have, I believe these are the... This is one of the special ones. We have the nightmare of temptation as well. So, I will just flick. And the art for this is this sort of very overdrawn and nightmarishly sort of colourful. Like, you wouldn't expect a game with this much colour to have this theme, but mm. it's really quite absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, one of the things... She is really cool. Like, I mean, you've got you've got a lot of this sort of, um, 
like style artwork uh, and then the eye is a little bit different um yep. but i suppose what i find a little bit weird is <laughs> yeah. this piece here uh, i mean it's a really cool art style and i think this is probably more my sort of style of, of yeah. art anyway but it seems a little bit weird and it seems out of place um so I, it'd be it'd be really interesting to hear what sort of thought process was behind like because i get that it's the whole it's kids mm. um and whatnot and then um, it's, it's the nightmares inside the kids so maybe that is meant to display the innocence and then the the nightmares the the really mm. messed up shit inside yeah yeah but you've yeah you've got really sort of three distinct styles which maybe clash a bit too much with each other yeah like I, I would have thought this would be a little bit more along the same sort of style as that or even that be a little bit more the same style as that although that probably wouldn't present the style of game yeah as much um but yeah so that that's that's a little bit weird um but i mean yeah i like the art style anyway you've got four turn cards slash dice side cards that you know, show you so that's very helpful i've just uh, noticed this bit up here uh family friendly art included there we go so it looks like you've got variant art on it, although you've still got all this... Yeah, you've still got all the nightmare stuff inside. So... Yeah. Yeah. Maybe for shop owners that don't want to scare kids. Uh, slash, maybe there's family-friendly versions of everything inside here. Mm. And if that may, if that is the case, you know, we're wrong. Again, it's an unboxing series. Scissors, my good sir. Scissors! Scissors! Oh, the game's getting foot hydration. Hydration. So straight away, I love this box. I love UV spotting. We've got to mess around with some UV spotting. We really do. Just beautiful. Oh, it's got a weird smell for a weird box. Smell? Yeah. Excuse us while we sniff boxes. Yeah. No, this this is something that... Really nice insert. It's a really... Oh, my God. Okay. I love boxes that use the insides. It's just... You have all this wasted space in all these boxes. And this has just got gorgeous artwork everywhere and just colour and rules and splashes. It's beautiful. Even the even the cardboard insert is art. It's just... Oh. Some people just get it right. I've started a thing now. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Yes. An o o sort of a oaky musky odor. Yes. Mm. Um, Lovely. It almost smells like Asian food. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm I not, thought I'm that was going to be really crazy. So it's got, it's got a lot of different arts on it, but they're all in the same keeping style. They're all in that same style. You've got words down here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Hate you. Nobody wants you. Useless idiot. Waste of space. Pathetic. <laughs> stupid failure. It's like talking to my mum. <laughs> I'm joking. She's a lovely lady. All right. Let's open it up. What have we got? So this is all the... Stop. Stop. Read pages one and two before playing. Okay. There are two boxes within it. Yes. Uh... Expansions and premium components. Ah, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, this looks nice. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. This is... If you want to play the game using its family-friendly art, search through this box and pull out the four fa family-friendly dreamer mats and five family-friendly nightmare cards and replace the four dreamer cards and five nightmare cards in the original set. So, yes. This is where the family art comes in, which is why it is on that box. Yeah. I get it now. That's fine. If you want to play the game with this original horror art, then you can search through this box and pull the four Dreamer mats. I was really worried they wouldn't include the base game stuff as the mats, because these are sexy. Do not throw the original cards away, as they have the single-player uh, variant game printed on their backs. That's cool, so it has a single-player variant, which is really hitting its stride at the moment. Mm. A lot of people are including single-player game modes. Shameless plug for I'm 4-4. Four four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it comes with... Four Dreamer mats, eight plastic overlays, eight replacement dice, family friendly retheme, Bone Hunters expansion, which will be those dice. Yeah. M Manifestations expansion and Dreamscapes expansion. Okay, cool. Let's go through it then. Um, yeah. Can we move that off to yes, the side? So these mats, so these are, what are they called? Neoprene mats? Yes. So small neoprene mats. With family-friendly art, the four characters all 
you know, facing each other. That's cool. So the red is actually fear. The per the blue is the dreamer, keeping in theme with the actual nightmares themselves. Do you know what's going Hmm. This is long pack. Yes, this is long pack. Yes. <laughs> so we can do this. So that's very nice. That's that's a nice little touch. Um, it's more resilient for kids because you're playing with kids. Those those cards are going to bend and break. This is great. It's like fold them up, throw them, like whatever. That's fantastic. <laughs> Just design a game around that's like throwing <laughs> throwing <laughs> mats. Yeah, let's not build monstrous, please. <laughs> so that's that's fantastic. So we have the four family friendly versions. Um, oh how's he counting? Michael. Um one, two, three, three four. four. Finally. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, it's just that I saw this um because it came. That's cool. Okay. That's really cool. That. So part of the problem with this would absolutely be these dice are just going to get knocked around and slide and move, right? Plastic cover, which has, well done, yeah. which has raised sections, so these will slot in and not move. As it, that's, it's little touches, isn't it? Yeah. It's just little touches sometimes that are just making and breaking games. So this this is kind of like an alternative to what you'd see uh what we've seen in a couple of things uh which is like the double layered cardboard yep. uh so we just saw that in uh dice forge you see it in scythe uh where you've got like uh, where you can put the cubes and stuff in it this is this is a different take on it um this is probably a cheaper take on it i'm not sure it'd be interesting to see hmm um i'm just i'm just wondering like what like, I mean, it's great having the mats, but like, I'm just wondering whether that kind of takes away from the... I mean, it's there if you want it. Mm. If you find yeah, the dice yeah. are annoying you, you put it on, it's not obstructing any of the artwork. It's not a permanent installation. It's not like, you know, a spin dial or something where it goes together, it goes together forever if you don't yeah. want to damage it. Yeah. Um, I, I like having the option. I mean, mm. it's just the yeah, option. Yeah, no, I, I, I do like the option. I'm I mean, it, it didn't cost me any more, mm. sort of thing. And that's the joy of Kickstarter and Stretch Goals. So yeah, you have your four of those as well. Put it up on the right way at least. Mm, shh. Okay, cool. So, oh, I have two packs of these bone dice. That's awesome. Well, I mean, you've got less than... Still, um, uh, when they're added together? They look roughly equivalent. Um, there, I think there are different amounts of these dice. Hmm. Okay, so that's cool. Then we have... Some small replacement dice. Just two for each colour. Okay, fair. They're small dice, you'll lose them eventually. You have... Ah, so this is the Dreamscapes expansion. So this is different. This I have no knowledge of at all. So, teddy bear. Discard on your turn. Return one dream on your card to the bag. So one of the dice. Um, oh. Linen finish. You are, you are converting me. You are yep, converting. Great, me good. Yeah, I don't like big, chunky, noticeable linen finishes, and that's one of the things with this. A, it's good, great quality card. It's actually a really firm cardstock. Holy heck, for a small card. I think it it actually is partly because it's a small card. You don't get as yeah, much true. give in it. Um, but yeah, I think that's your standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, but you get linen finishes that are really quite chunky, yeah. like really noticeable, and I, I don't like them. I would prefer just a standard matte, gloss, finish, whatever. But the really fine linen finishes, absolutely coming around. Oh, yeah. So these look like just smaller cards that give you some special abilities. How you draw them is probably laid out in the expansion booklet. But, and their art style is... It's, it's not quite in keeping with that. It's not quite in keeping with that. It's the eyes art style. Yeah. So, it's maybe a bit odd still having... The, the three, three art styles. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't this be that art style? Maybe because this can be played with the kid-friendly version. That's that's also another thing. That's an option. Um, it's still a tiny bit weird. But hey, you know, if he wants to make it as broad an audience as possible, I understand. Mm. Then we have the. This will be the childish versions. Well, the family-friendly versions family friendly, yes. of the Nightmare Primevals. Uh, we'll put that over here. We'll put that there. Yep. Primeval Fear, Imprisonment, 
Envy, The Depths, Temptation, that's great. And, ah, and this is the Bone Hunters expansion. Right. So it looks like sort of Predators, how many Bone Hunters dreams they wish to add to the bag. Dreams may never be returned to the bag by a dreamer, even if it means a dreamer cannot return two dreams to the bag. Um, they may never be rolled, re-rolled, even by Envy, and are always resolved first. However, Bone Hunters will never serve a Nightmare. If a Nightmare player draws a Bone Hunters dream, it must be returned to the bag, even if that means sending no minions. So it can be bad, but it can also help you. So that's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad at all. That's interesting. And I will say, the family friend the art is great. Like, yeah, like oh, absolutely right. nothing wrong with the art style at all. They're gorgeous. I love this Nightmare of Temptation. Uh, nah, let's probably do that one. This Nightmare of Temptation reaching for a cupcake is just great. <laughs> oh, and this full art side's on the, oh, the back of the four basics. And then there is Temptation flips. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Yeah. Fantastic. No, great. I'm excited to play it. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Because I, I only, I think I only just joined in for the last half of the game. Yeah. Didn't I? Yeah. yeah. Mm. So we didn't get to play much of it, but yeah, I, I played for the whole thing. You joined a bit afterwards because we packed up our stall. We were there doing what? Ultimate Troll Episode 1? <laughs> that yes. was a while ago. Yeah. Woo! Uh, so I'll be interested to see how much replayability there is. I mean, directly, it's a competitive experience. Mm. Yeah. So, there's that. I mean, immediately I'm on board because it's competitive. I'm, oh, I'm not much of a co-op person. So, that's fantastic. The expansion box, just quickly, has artwork on the uh, insert, but the box itself is black on the inside. I mean, it's in keeping with the rest of the box, yeah. but just, you know, got to show everything. Uh, I wouldn't have art on the inside, and if you did, it would have to be the same UV thing. That would be super expensive. So, I completely agree with the decision there. I'm excited to give it a go. Yeah. yeah Very definitely. much so. It looks some, like something that's light enough that you can power through a good couple of games of it. Right, always refining your tactic. You're not going to be bogged down for two hours and then be like, oh, we could play it again, or we could play 17 other games in the same amount of time. Mm. Um, it's good. Good. Yeah, yeah, no. I like um, the look of it. I'm keen. Uh, I'm, I'll probably be using one of these mats. You'll be using one of the others. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's much more your sort of style. Yes. Yep. Yep. Hmm. All right, fantastic. Well, Shannon, this looks pretty, pretty bloody good. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. I, yeah. I'm keen to... I certainly understood why you were such a success. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, well... As always, I've been Riley Moss. I'm Damien Schneider. We have been Gibbons vs. Games, and we will see you next time. See you then. I'm keen as me. Yeah. Okay. Like, I know you weren't as up on it as I was. Yeah, no, it, but I mean, I, I did miss out on the start of it yeah. as well, so... Um, yeah, now it just comes down to how you want to pack this. Yes. So, have we got another um, little baggie for these, or do you want to... Them just in the actual bag. Uh, yeah, no, we've got baggies. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting if we decide to rush our asses and get to LFG. If he'll be there. Take me home. I put that in the wrong bag. To a place. Ah, right, it's this bag. Uh, but no, 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 we, we've got... One of that was the extra pack, that was the pack that came in the box, so just put them both in the same bag. Ah, uh, belong. Ah, no, it was the gems. Ah. Oh, the gems, yeah, I don't know where they fell. I don't remember those at all. <laughs> I remember sexy dice, I remember sexy artwork. Hmm. They might be for like longer standing games, sorts of things, so like keeping Maybe. track of who's. I don't know. No idea. To a place I belong. Alright, so I think I want to pack all the non-kids version in the basic box. Okay. No. 
No, I like the expansion box more, I think. <clears throat> Just because of that sexy UV spotting. <laughs> so let's put all the non-nightmare in that. Oh, one Do of these will be for that. Stack, or you have to keep them? Uh, I mean, they're probably stack, right? They might scratch, though, if you do that. Don't know. I mean, they pack them like, like that, that, so yeah. I'm wondering if that's the... I'll probably have to remove the cardboard insert, won't I? To fit everything. Oh, no, because I'm moving those over. And maybe. And I mean, at the end of the day, I have sexy dice now. Not that you can use them for anything else, but still sexy does. Okay. So do you want me to try packing these? That is that is not gonna work. It's it's not gonna work. So mm. I think I might do dice over here. I might just have to put it in the basic box. No, yeah. Let's go dice over there. Along with let's go both rule books. Mm-hmm. Forget those. And then let's just get all the playing stuff in here. So let's get uh, the family friendly at the bottom. Here. Yeah. And those. <clears throat> and those. And that. Then, yep. I think everything else goes on top, doesn't it? Yeah, so these next are... Uh, you probably want these down first because they're gonna hold actually it. hold it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so neoprene mat's a tiny bit of a pain to pack away, huh? Yep. As is gonna roll into the thing. Is the idea anyway? Yeah. I'm almost tempted to like get a four picture frame and do that with it. Because they're good, it's good art. Mm. I know you're not much of a dark style person. Yeah. But it's good art. Each of the four sides of this box are the four fees. And feature bits from the artworks. That's cool. Do it, please. Ah, uh, fuck. Don't do it. I'm sorry. The sleeve helps a lot. Deluxe spot set. Cool. Great. I'd love to have a chat with the guy. Be like, why the three art styles? Mm. Well, more like why that one because I mean you've got yeah, the I get the other two, but why? Why a third? Yeah. Anyway, all right. Uh, that was a good chunk of videos done. Yeah. Do we have time for one more? Do you think? Uh. Oh, I mean, the other one is a charter stone is the problem. Yeah, no, charter stone is going to take a while. I mean, we do want to keep everything under an hour, though. We've easily got an hour. Okay, so you're... you're yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Charter okay. stone it is, then. Bugger it, we'll do, we'll do all the big ones. Cool. Sale price off. Take me home. Country. Okay. Maybe won't even need these. Oh, there's probably stuff inside. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Alright. Last one. This is a marathon today. Isn't it? Bloody <laughs> hey. We, if we need to catch up. Uh, yeah. Catch up we have. I mean yes. we've got Vast, we've got Subterra, we've got 
Fuck. We've got good. Ghostbusters. Fuck off. <laughs> I refuse. I would. I would unbox and do a review of Monopoly before doing that. Oh, we can do that. Bring it on. <laughs> you think that'll phase me? <laughs> you think I'm not competitive enough to just destroy Monopoly? Come on now. You know I'll look up tactics. <clears throat> this is gonna be glorious. Fuck this episode. Look how white this is. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yep. Um. Actually, going to look at. Ready? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to. S <laughs> I do it every time. Slinky Given Game. Why did we have to name our channel so close to a goddamn game company? So it's got name association. I know, but it just confuses me. <laughs> Don't look straight at me. That's weird too. Look at the camera, at least for the introduction. Christ. All I see is this stare into my soul from my left. Ooh. Which is, that's your right as well. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> Mate, we've unboxed and reviewed like four things already. No, this is yeah. our fourth, isn't it? Yes. I mean, Zombicide counts as seven. Zombicide was a big video. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gibbons vs. Games. I, of course, am Riley Morse. I'm Damien Schneider. And today we are checking out Charterstone. Now, if you've never heard of Scythe, what have you been doing? A slash welcome to board games. Mm. This is the next work by, I believe it's Stonemaier Games. Yes. yes. It's right there. Right on Stonemaier Games. Now, we've been reading a lot of Stonemaier stuff. Stonemaier loves posting blogs about, especially yeah. Kickstarters and just running campaigns and making board games really good shit to read so mm. we're we're well up on the sort of stone mark up here no idea the name of the guy so we have charterstone and this was torn so that makes opening it easy yeah so this is different so if you've never played scythe it is a big euro territory claim board game a refreshing lack of a war well not lack of but uh, uh less of a focus on you the don't war. have to go and punch people in the face if you don't want to yeah um not saying I ever don't, but... <laughs> Actually, you've got robots in that game more than I have. Yeah, but I usually use them to get the uh, features and run around the place. Yeah. So, this is more of a... It looks like a Civ buildy type game. Yeah. Um, I mean, truth be told, we haven't looked at this very much at all. Uh, it's mainly the whole Stonemaier games that we're like, we really like what we've played in the past, uh, and we do read a lot of his stuff. So and with all games we unbox, we do try to not look into them too much, just so that you get a raw experience that most people would have. Hmm. Now, this is Legacy. For those that don't know what a Legacy game is, it means the campaign changes. You'll probably have stickers to put somewhere or notes to take, etc. So the game will change as you play it. Your copy will very likely not be the same as anyone else's. Now, some people don't like this because once you've played it all the way through, you have to play it the same way again and again and again. Gloomhaven is a great example. Once you've played that once, you can't really do it again unless you go and buy the stickers that you can especially remove, which is what we did. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Because we play that a lot. <laughs> when we get the time. We when we get the that time. So, starting off, we have two rule books. We have... Automa. Mm -hmm. which... uh, that would be your AI. Uh, Assuming by the name of Automa. Yeah, I would assume so. Oh, actually, regardless of the number of human players in any game of Charterstone, there are always six founding villages. So this would likely run the any villages that aren't picked up by players. So it's a, it looks like a village building game with quite mm -hmm. a light art style. Yep. Um, now, I think this is uh, two to four players. One to six. six. One to six? Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, you can run all the villages with players if you want to. Then we have a rule book. Please read this page before looking at anything else in this box. Charterstone is a legacy game, which means you make permanent changes to the game, mostly in the form of writing on the board and cards with markers provided by the players and stickers. You will start out with access to only a small portion of content in this box. Writing. Yeah, so I mean, there's there's none of that in um, Gloomhaven. In Gloomhaven, all stickers. Hmm. That's that's interesting. 
Um, writing is harder to get away with. I mean, you could go laminate them. That's true. You could go laminate the cards. But that's another investment on top of a $100 game? Yeah. Oh, it's 110 retail in Australia. Um... I'm not sure. I mean, let's get this out there. We haven't had a ton of experience with Legacy. We don't really know if it's our thing. It's something interesting and it's new and it's, you know, everyone's trying to get in on this Legacy. I believe it was started by Risk Legacy. So, it's interesting. Whether that will be a pain writing on your cards? Well, the the other thing is, um, I think this is the same for you and me, that uh, our handwriting isn't always the nicest thing. Um, Epileptic pigeon is how mm. mine has been described. So, yeah, wh- whether that means like because you're actually permanently marking the cards yourself, that would make it a little bit odd. Interesting. You have a rule book here. It doesn't quite look complete. These are empty slots for rules. So, obviously some of the cards are going to actually impact the rule book. Maybe that's some of the stickers. Interesting. Other than that, it's high art, enough colour, especially once you get the stickers in there. Uh, stories, again, more stickers, it looks like, and symbols. So It's the, not a very big rule book. No, it's not. No, so, it's... looks like the cards or the stickers will tell you most of what to do in the game. Mm. Interesting. Mm. We have an index guide. Only look at the indexing guide when opening a crate. So we, we, we random don't. loot, I guess. Yep. Yep, we don't. Courtney's <coughs> not here. <laughs> here we have what looks like an Uno card. So that's actually yeah. <laughs> a board for something, and it has that very Uno esque type curve in the corners of it, which is kind of odd. Uh now I do have the same on two different sides. Yeah, that's exactly what I've got. I'm wondering if that is meaning that you can actually have two different campaigns. I don't know. Because the rule book would be edited the same way, though. You don't have two rules. Yeah, that's true. Yep, no, fair enough. Okay. All right, sure. Then you have... Oh, big game board. All right, uh, time yeah. to move. Off to the side. One, Ooh. Two. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's a nice art style. Miss, miss alike. Yeah. So it, it is a very simplistic um, sort of simplistic cartoon. Uh, yeah, yeah, like big bubble head sort of. But it's very, um, it's very crisp and clean. Um, very well drawn. It looks lovely. I like this guy here. He's like a little yeah. rock golem just chilling rock out. Golem. Dun, dun, dun. All right. <laughs> so what is this around the edge? It's a tracker that goes to ninety nine. Um, Turns? But I mean this no uh, this would be victory points you see it in a lot of things um, so right that that I can't remember uh, Lords of Waterdeep is one of them that will have yep. the score going around the outside um, yeah. yeah okay so that looks very nice um, um, now you probably there can't are see, hexes yeah you can't see probably can't see them on the on the camera but you've got really faint outlines over there um, which I assume is for stickers and stuff like that. Or putting things, models and such. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. If there are yep. models. Uh, did you just not notice the entire other side? Well, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a whole other side, which is much of a muchness. Has uh, a few this... more of these banners. It doesn't have as many of the other little regions and stuff on it. So there's no little rock golem and stuff, or yeah, because we've got oh uh, no, there's only really like cloud port and stuff there. No nope, cloud port, rock oh. golem. Oh right, it's just over the other side. Okay. So it's just got slightly more of these banners, and it's got whatever this track here is, and that track there. Um, sure they weren't on the other side. No, nope, they're on the other side too. Okay, then no, it's just a... so maybe maybe you're right. Maybe there is two campaigns you can do. Okay, that's that's interesting. So you can mark it twice, effectively. You can run through the game twice, ever, without removable stickers, slash laminating your cards, etc. Alright, and then, as with most 
Legacy Games, you have boxes, which you will be instructed to open at certain times. Uh, we are going to probably play through a campaign of this eventually, show yeah, the video. Yeah. But we will open a box or two. So, is there a index there that might be a good place to start? I mean, that just looks open. That's... What the... Oh. Other side. Right. Wow. Okay. okay. So, so, um... Yeah, so we've got index on the inside here as well as a whole heap of different cards. And, I mean... And they're all in their own sealed packs. And there's a, there's a whole bloody indexing guide on the inside of the box! What type of game is this? Wow. Yeah, no, we were thinking that this was going to be light, a, a much lighter game, just judging by the art style on it um, and just like the the images that we've seen it online. Yeah. But, um, I, we still do have this very simplistic sort of uh, symbol um, mm -hmm. type thing. Um, we actually do have some text on here as well, um, yeah. which... Very uh, light text, yeah. right? so it wouldn't be hard to translate. Yeah, uh, but it's it's usually if there is any sort of text that needs to be printed again for a, a different right. language, yeah. um, or whether or not they're just like, oh no, we'll just keep that there. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So this is the scriptorium. Uh. So we have wooden tokens for the various things. We've got a big, sexy wooden dice with the yeah. symbols that match these, and then we have gorgeous metal coins. Thank you, Stonemaier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Stonemaier does really good quality stuff. Uh, typical... Oh, wow. It's even the same bags for food <laughs> as... You get pumpkins. Yeah, you get pumpkins. You get your wood. You get your steel. So it's much the same wooden components as you get in, say... Scythe. Scythe. That's the one. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> it's not like I own all the expansions or anything. Okay. The beans. What the dickens? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, they are clinky as hell. I just kind of needed a moment of silent appreciation, I feel. Cool, yeah, and again, that's. Yep, they're really good weight. They're really well made. I mean, that's DD as hell. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Oh, that's um, this fine. Man. This is feel trouble for, but whatever. Uh, the, there are only yeah. ones. Yeah, there are only ones. So I don't imagine it's a high currency game. Yeah, but that that's still uh, weird. Like, I, I mean, I I do know that these take uh, a bit to produce. Yeah. Uh, but even still having like a, a couple of threes and a couple of fives and whatnot. Um. Stonemaier loves putting in tons of extra Ziploc bags. Yeah. Maybe they're for gathering certain things for the campaign, etc., etc. Yeah. yeah, most likely. Okay, that's cool. Why is there one of that? Interesting. One of some weird water droppy type symbol. Yeah. Blue okay. fire. Well, standard Stonemaier quality there. Yeah. Yeah. Just absolute class. Alright, there. And there. Bag in a bag. Bag in a bag. In a box in a bag. In a box in a box. Alright. <clears throat> so that goes... Uh... <laughs> it's the little... Sorry. Oh, do not eat. Uh, throw away. I mean, that's really just not acceptable. Who includes non-edible products yeah. in their games? Like, really. We lost a light. <laughs> so, we have three more types of boxes, Damien. Mm -hmm. We have some Roman numeral boxes. We have an archive, and then the various little symbols. Yep. Let's open one of each. <clears throat> Slash the on the archive box. So let's go number one. So it spoils okay. as little as possible. I will do this one. You can have a bigger one. Or do you want the cutesy box? <laughs> Not what I expected. <laughs> Straight away I expected small cards A la Zombicide What I got was wooden components They are the most adorable little cubes <laughs> Wow, well, yeah I... They are really small 
Like almost as in so kind if of you've like got... medical tablet small and just yeah down a couple as of in them. definitely not safe for kids small. <laughs> so if you've got wooden tokens for your food, your metal, etc., what's this for then? It might just be like an easier way of keeping track of high accounts of it potentially. Uh, although they they're not really they're not the same. They're colors. not all matching up. No, there's no pumpkin. Yeah, no? Okay, well, um, Interesting. we're going to find right. out. No idea. Um, archive? Could... Archive, yeah. Well, I can tell you exactly what's inside this box. Okay, give it a shake for me. Ah, nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, um, so... <laughs> so that's maybe where you store things that mm. you're currently using. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. no, that's 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 a good idea. I, I mean, okay, well, that's your box. <laughs> My quadro oh, is God. terrible. So what do we want? Um, oh, they're called charter chests. Hmm. Well, let's. This is the problem with unboxing legacy games. It's like, oh, we can't open everything and have a look because we don't want to ruin the whole game for ourselves. It, it's quite a light thing. Um, uh, and and you've, you've got a lot of information on the on the outside, which is something that you didn't see in um, Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven. Uh, you've lots of stars for certain symbols. You've got a lot of information. Victories over here. Capacity. Okay, so let's go really Each capacity quick. is worth one to three victory points at the end of the game. Oh, well, these are the six villagers, dude. These yeah. are the six players. Each player okay. will pick one of these yep. and start as one. And yep. then you score your victories here and, you know, your glory, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so that makes it a little more difficult to make these reusable in that... You can't laminate that. Yeah. Uh, no so th this is this is where the marker would be. So you don't necessarily have to have nice handwriting. You just. But still, I want to be able to keep playing. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe they offer like an online thing you can print out, so it's a sheet instead of marking these. Like, mm. if they have the tools to make it so you don't have to mark it, I totally get it. But. Like, I mean, even if they don't, um, like I'm, I'm considering just making up a little sheet. Yeah. Because, I mean, all, all you've got is the front and back of this thing. Yeah. Um, and you just have that sitting as your player thing and um, yeah. just mark it off. And, and if you print them, you can have as many as you like. Damien, what are the stickers? Stickers. These are Scriptoria. Mm, no, that was just full of the... The resources and stuff, remember? Oh, right, yeah. <coughs> Maybe so the, these are... Look how thick they are. Wait, no, look how thick these ones are. Maybe these are stickers? Yeah, or I'm not these sure. these stickers? Ah, uh, no, no, yeah, yeah, these are stickers. So you can see how... Like, oh, you, you can actually pull off the building. Yeah, okay. So, oh, so you you've got them in card form, and then you can um, like after you've used it on the card, you maybe. So that's what it'll take. So the resource cost in the corner is what it takes to build, and then just onto yep. the board it goes. That makes it more difficult. Makes it a lot more difficult. Interesting. So this is I don't I don't think you can cheat this one. It's not like Gloomhaven where you can just buy this extra pack. This is. You play it, and so what happens when you once you've built things? Can you never play it again? Interesting. Uh, this is something be... to consider. Something we'll learn, I guess. Right? Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll find it out eventually. Well, that for better or for worse is Charterstone. That's that's strange. It's like you know we've been playing games how long? Yeah, quite a while. Yeah, quite a while. You um, longer than me, old man. <laughs> uh yeah. So that that is just a. Um, a game I, you can't repeat. But I mean, I do, I do like because I've heard a lot about the legacy and risk and stuff like that. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's just a odd, 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 odd. Yeah, interesting. I'm, I'm still 
I'm still keen to give it a go. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. Stone so you yeah, know. and it's, it's resource. What have you done? Have you got no? Nope. It's still okay. It's a square box. No, no, I was seeing whether that was not nah. square. Yeah. So yeah, look, it's it's definitely. I mean, it's had some rave reviews too, so it's definitely mm. got to have something going for it. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, all the components look really, really nice. Mm -hmm. um, like the artwork is simple and clean. Um, the characters weren't depicted anywhere that we saw. Uh, on the back of the box. So yeah. Once. Um, no, no, no. But the people oh, on yeah. the back aren't depicted anywhere in the game. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, for for a game, like I mean, this is a game where there's very little art. Yeah. Um, on it, which is quite interesting. Like a, a lot of a lot of games now just have art plastered everywhere they can. Um, Inside of boxes, we've said a few. Yeah. Um, but I mean, ev even on the on the box itself, you got like very minimal sort of art on the back, um, uh, minimal art on the sides and top and all that the sort of stuff. The box is pretty looking though for it. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's it's it still it's out. still great design. Uh, the only thing is uh, a reason why I didn't pick this up earlier though was I, I really like going into a shop and looking at the box and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I like board games. I really like the whole tactile um, uh, experience of it. Yeah. Uh, when I had a look at the back of the box of this, I couldn't see much of the game. Yeah. And you, like it, a lot of games will showcase like even like the little splash of components and stuff like mm. that on the back. Um, you don't really get a sense of what you're going to be doing in mm, this game. Yeah, or like the scope or scale of it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that was that was really interesting. It was one of the reasons why it took a little while for me to actually purchase it. Yeah. Um, but hey, we have it now. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm stoked. I, I All right. Play it. <laughs> cool. Then that... <laughs> oh, it's a heavy box. It's Charterstone. Uh, I've been Riley Morse. I'm Damien Schneider. We have been Sleeky Giving Games. Doing Gibbons, Doing versus, Gibbons games. versus games. <laughs> and we will catch you next time. Yeah. Hopefully we can get a couple of gameplays in and, yeah. and stuff like that. It'll come eventually. <laughs> See you. See you around. This game confuses the hell out of me. Yeah. It's a real step from Scythe to this, isn't it? Mm. I'm so confused. I'm so... Why build a game that's $110 that you can't play more than... I'm, I'm assuming twice. Surely, surely there's a way to do it. Right. Like, maybe their stickers by default are the removable stickers. Hmm. So we're going to have to... We're going to want to make sure that we learn all the rules back to front before we even start. Yep. Yeah. Or yep, else... Yep, 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 yep. Because we, we really like things to be a nice and efficient. A competitive legacy game. Maybe you and me just play this one. Yeah. And if it is really good, I just go out and get another box. <laughs> Building stickers are removed from the cards and permanently added to the board, becoming action spaces for any player to use. Thus, a few available buildings soon grow into a bustling village with dozens of actions. Your journey through Charterstone's many secrets will last 12 games, but it doesn't end there. Your completed village will be a one-of-a-kind variable worker placement game. Oh. So it might be that you're doing like the smaller missions and um, yeah, and then yeah. at, at the end of each mission you're adding to the, the town itself. Yeah, I don't and know. And then you just play So it's weird, it goes, it goes from a city builder into a worker placement game. Well, maybe it's not as much focused on the city building uh, and it is the worker placement and it's just the game escalates with you. Because that would be an interesting way of, of having it run. So if the game is just getting more complex, and so by the time you've played it 12 times through, you're really savvy with how it works, and so you get familiar with where all the, um, all the yeah, stuff is. Yeah, but that's is. the thing. Your city is never the same to anyone as anyone else's. Hmm. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, that'd be why there's two city boards, but only a certain amount of like spaces in the rule book sort of thing. Because you can have two different cities. No, it'll be... Weird. So it's a worker placement game, really. It's a worker placement game with foreplay. <laughs> right? It's a terrible description. <laughs> Suck that on the box. <laughs> worker placement with foreplay.
Uh, yeah, yeah, you can go into um, uh, Stegmaier. Stegmaier? Uh, yeah. The guy's name is um, Stegmaier, I'm pretty sure, and then Stegmaier is the game okay. stuff. I think... Ooh. Yeah. Oh, come on the end of a bloody work day. Can't you tell? <laughs> Weird. Cool. Alright. I'm I'm still so confused by this game. <laughs> Sure. Sure. Well, I think that's all we have for today, really. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we won't be live tomorrow, probably just because I'm going to be video editing this stuff and chucking it up, mm -hmm. and we'll be talking about the great work. Yeah. Um, slash, if we're bored, we could maybe do like the start of our adventures in Clank. Because if it's as good as you describe, you and me will be playing that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, is, like, after your sort of tomorrow with, mm -hmm. um, just Editing shooting that across, and, yeah. yeah, um, do we even just do, like, a clank day sort of thing? Clank day? Yeah. Yeah, so, unbox it, start playing. Sure. Because we are very interested, we're very much interested in the deck build-up in the future, aren't we? Some form yeah. of deck buildy. yada, yeah. yada, yada. There's also some other mechanics. Uh, similar to Lucidity, where you're drawing stuff out of the bag. Oh, okay. Um, I'm very much interested in investigating Legacy more. Because mm -hmm. I, I really think the more we work on the great work, the more it's going to make sense to have it as a Legacy base. Because, I'm, I mean, think about what we have planned for that. How well, yeah. and see, this is the kind of thing that the stream is for. You get to, <laughs> you get to see all these snap, like... You get Spoilers. to see all this preview stuff and like the decision making process and you know as we get further along and you see more of it you can help you can you know help us decide input etc. Yeah, I'm even. Why don't game developers do this? Video game developers do it. <laughs> um, I'm I'm wondering for the uh, the legacy side of it whether that is kind of like because we were talking about like that's the town builder yeah sort of thing if that is like a separate box sort of thing. And then if you are going to play another game of it, you just get that box again. And you don't have to get all the other, um, the rest of the game with it. So you, right. you've essentially got refill saying. packs and whatnot. Because I mean, that's that's the big sort of hesitation that we have with going and just starting playing that. Because we're like, yeah. it's going to it's gonna like make permanent changes. Yeah. Um, and so if you do have that option of going, oh, we're just going to start a new Slash, campaign. we need removable stickers. I think removable stickers come base in that game. If we go the legacy route, and I think that game would be so benefited by slowing it down a little and legacy, like even the first version of it was pseudo legacy, really. Yeah, it was campaign. It was zombicide esque. Yep. But um, with character persistence, hmm. and it's not a big hop, skip, and a jump from there to legacy. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, it, it was essentially building the deck. Um, that you would continue to use. Yep. Um, hmm. Okay. Alright, so tomorrow is upload those to YouTube. Uh, should we upload all of them at once, or should I go through and do them week by week? Uh, I may as well just do them all at once, and then you can start linking them up to Board Game Geek and, and whatnot. Um, so. so we'll just have bursts of content. Yeah. Slash every week we'll have, well, almost every week we should have either Gloomhaven, Charterstone, or if we like Clank, more Clank. Mm. Slash game testing and yada yada yada. We should probably show and record, like, oh, I'm playing Dice Watch for the first time. I'm joking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, how much time do you have? 4.44 at the moment. Uh, 45 minutes? I mean, did we want to open up Clank in that way? Tomorrow, let's just sit down, play, let's become competitive Clank players. Yeah, and I mean, we, we can do a little bit of research and whatnot tonight as well. To, um, Not be completely fucking awful at it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh my god, another video? <laughs> it's funny, because I think anyone's watching. Um... <laughs> Yeah, okay. Just yep. can I get a refill? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I love our clicker. Our clicker's so good. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, you know what? Yeah, look, just The, the comment I made the other uh, yesterday on the TGDA about you know would why don't people stream would people watch it yada 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 one guy goes I watch wood lathe videos I would happily watch someone drawing a map and you know doing game stuff <laughs> maybe I should draw a map on YouTube <laughs> oh god I hope I can go back into the VOD the video part of this video and actually mark sections and be like, here's where this came. Mmm. So question. Mm -hmm. Twitch only keeps these videos for 12 days. Okay. Do I also upload the whole stream into a separate playlist and go, if you want to watch the whole stream with all the background ramblings, there you go. I mean, may as well try it. See Some channels do it as like a Patreon. You can see this uncut part, but we don't have that sort of audience base. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it would be something that we do and then have it for later on down the track. Sure. All right. Well, I'll just trans. I'll do all the cuts first, and then I'll just get the big thing uploading. And while we do that, we can. Was that le looting? Le looting. Shh. <laughs> Nobody. Heard. Don't need none of your sass, mate. Are we gonna do little clank or just big clank? Let's just do big. And then let's play a few games with just Big Clank. Yep. And then... So what do you like so much about this? Um, it was uh, just the game style really clicked with me. On the side. On the side. Okay. Remove the setting press. As opposed to... What did I like that you really didn't? Uh, unfair. Unfair. Right. Uh, this is a little more adventurer sort of base. You're running around actually uh, doing things and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Alright, um, I'm going to just need a good back stretch. Give me a second here. Yep. <sighs> oh, Alright. Long day in the office. <laughs> I love that the job's fucking making games and recording videos. Like, oh no! <laughs> We're I got opening up games. I got up this morning, I'm like, oh, I have to go to work today, Shani, no! And then I remembered this was our whole work day. <laughs> like, are you freaking kidding me? That's fantastic. Alright. Mm. <laughs> this is our job. <laughs> People are getting home from the office at this point. <laughs> That's lighter than I expected. Also, way more board presence than I expected for a deck builder. Yeah. As opposed yeah. to, like... Where is it? That thing. Cool. Segment time? Mm. Segment time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Slinky... Fuck! <laughs> Every time! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I almost did it again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's going to be the whole thing where we have to do is like, this may contain expletive content. Um... I'll put an age restriction on the channel. <sighs> Ladies, uh, no, you can have a certain amount of language before you are required to by oh, YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So, we can't record Thursdays. <laughs> well, it'll be Fridays now, but, because of your work schedule, but yeah. still. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gibbons vs. Games. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did it again. Uh... Hey everyone, welcome to Gibbons vs. Games. My name's Damien Schneider. My name's Riley Morse. <laughs> and I just stole your job. <laughs> I'm not even upset. I can't do it right now. Awesome. Um, so today we're going to be having a look at Clank. This is a bit of an older game than some of the things that we have been doing unboxings for. Let's actually see if we can find a year on it. No time, let's no? go. <laughs> okay. Um, so, but, I mean, this is a game, I played it a little while ago. And like that, that, 
that was my sort of game. And he hasn't shut up about it since. No. So we finally got our hands on a copy, and I'm going to see if this is actually worth all the hype he's been giving it. Oh, not if you break the entire thing. It's cards. <laughs> There's little wooden meeples and things in there too. Um, I think that's a safety hazard. Okay. Better not show children that. Um, yeah, true. Yeah, cool. So, I mean, this is this is Clank. It's a it's a deck builder with um like a dungeon crawler sort of board to it. Uh, yeah, I really like the art style. There are a couple of kooky things that happen every now and again okay. in it, but um, yeah, I mean, overall, yep. strong just, lines. Yeah, rather yep. simple. Cool. Yep. Okay, cool. that's that's cool to start with. So that's rule book. Yeah. Yep. Okay, standard sort of, you know, texty, imagey. It doesn't look too heavy. That that gets a bit wall of texty. Um, a lot of dead space in it. Yeah. It's obviously got some older design principles in it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I mean, it, it is interesting to go back to an older yeah. um, game. I'll, I'll keep looking. You yeah. pull out. I'm going to see if I can hmm. find a damn year. Yep. Um, I so might even phone research. I mean, it should just be... No. They had Let's a... Try. They had a thing. Usually, people are required to put years and stuff on this. No, okay. Um, but yeah, cool. So I mean, rule book. Um, not not particularly hefty compared to a lot of things that we've seen. Uh, there's larger font and stuff like that as mm. well. So there's not a whole lot of uh, text that you have to get your head around. Um, and here we have the board. Oh god, a deck builder with a board. All right. Yeah, I mean you. Got, uh, and we've got double-sided board as well. So uh, here is one side. Um, and I mean, it's, again, it's been, I've only played it once and it was a while since I've played. And here is the other side. I think this... Oh my God, This no. one. Uh, so you've got two different stages of it. I, I'm trying to think whether it's uh, due to the number of players or whether you've just got a, a more difficult uh, version of it. So It's or, not that old. It's not that old. 2016. 2016. Okay. No, fair enough. Um, cool. Uh, cool. Moving right along. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, what is what is actually the difference between that? It. It's. Oh, it's like a scene. You can only play it twice. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. This one has a market in the middle. Okay. So you've got a couple of extra things going on here. So it might be that sort of thing where you've got Basically. introductory game. Oh, let's actually turn that around. Yep. So it's your perspective. So introductory game, um, again, just to, as a, a guess. Uh, when I played it, I played with people who knew what they were doing, so we went straight to using the market. Uh, and I remember that being quite interesting, sort of mechanic. Okay. And whatnot in there. Sure. So, well, we're not peasants. We won't play the simple way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got lots of standard tokens here. It looks like gold, uh, various symbols and abilities. Uh, we got um, friggin' hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, which is kind of yep. weird and cool. Various treasures. On the flip side, a lot of them are hidden. Mm -hmm. So I imagine you you know, you know, go and find them, they yeah. become random yep. things, etc. And all that's uh, oh, token punchy goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so good, good card. Stop, you know, standard. I mean, there's no yeah. variation on this stuff, really. Mm. Yeah, it, I mean, it's it's to the point where if you've got a bad quality game, it just, no one sees it. Yep. Um, Ooh. Dragon yeah. bag? Yes. So this... Alike. Well, I mean, this is uh, like what we saw in Lucidity. You've got to be yep. dragging um, stuff out of stuff the bag. In, dragging How? it out of the bag. Sorry. Oh, shh. <laughs> Me no quiet. English goodly. <laughs> Again, maybe large-handed gentlemen might have a problem, but apart from that, it should be all right. It's it's a decent size. And unlike Lucidity, this isn't like a laminate stamp or something. This is actually... Embroidered? In. Yeah, yeah, embroidered in. It's really nice. Yeah. It's actually really nice bag. <laughs> Oh, you have a symbol to match. You have a piece. Yes. I so don't know who and what that denotes, but... Have a guess. I mean, where the dragon is? Is yeah, there a dragon? That, that, yeah, there's a dragon. Uh, and so the more sort of noise and stuff that you make, which is the whole name of the game, so Clank, um, right. that's when the okay. dragon starts waking up, and that's when you got to get the hell out of it. The, um, so it's Skulkanaut's the deck builder. <laughs> it's what you're telling me. Okay, so... I imagine a pack for every player, right? Different colours? Yes. So it's what, a maximum of five players? Um, no, the black doesn't have a player symbol. So the uh, black, the black is, the is the dragon. So there's there four players. 
Four players, each of which taking a different colour, a meeple and some wooden tokens, I imagine, to denote something. Right? What do they denote, then? Um, if you remember. I can't remember at all. Never mind, Oh, then. these these are the things that all go into the bag. They get drawn out of the bag to determine who gets affected. Right. Not a problem. And then, out of so, this very large injection mould pla plastic insert, which is bright red, mm. for whatever on. reason, we have three packs of cards. What is that? Oh, that's... Eternal, a strategy that... card game? Is that just an advertisement piece? It could be, yeah. Okay, so the art style is... Yeah, I can see what you mean. There's some weird things that occur occasionally. Yeah, um, and I think uh, in some of the more standard pieces, you see that happen more. Yeah. Um, uh, just because it looks like the... Yeah, it was a little more refined towards the end. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, overall, it's a really nice aesthetic. And yeah. you know, when this is a card on the table, uh, you're not going to... Um, yeah, it's yeah. nice and clean. It's They are adorable. <laughs> oh my god, kobolds. <laughs> yeah. They are cute. Yeah, we like kobolds. Okay, so very basic sort of fantasy dungeon delve looking yeah. thing. I like the almost early Doom style corridor mm. look of it all. Overlord. Yeah, yeah, and you've got that on the uh, action cards here as well because you've got the the monsters, um, yep. and they're things that you can go and beat up and stuff like that to earn points. Sure. Um, yeah, you know, you get things for defeating them. All other players get plus one clank, so obviously you draw the sound of the dragon towards other people. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dragon shrine. Pull plus one cube for dragon attacks. Okay, so you pull cubes to see who the dragon is attacking. Oh, really? Oy. Yes. Uh, okay. put three dragon cubes back in the bag. Interesting. Bandit Queen. That's what this special card is. That's 100% a different game. Yes. So that is a promotional card for a different game that they obviously also make. Yeah. That's a really cool art piece, though. It's... Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Yeah. It's... It's kind of interesting that there is so much stuff going on and the art piece is so small compared to the card, but... Yeah. Anywho. Um, that's... Oh, so this is also Companions. You can get Monkey Bot 3000. Lol. Yeah. Rebel Captain. Okay, sure. Hmm. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Yep, looking fairly sort of Queen of Hearts. Okay. Looking fairly standard sort of Dungeon Delvey. Yeah, <clears throat> but it, it is very much sent, um, taking the, the very D&D sort of thing that people are... Um, Used to, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, right. There's a there's a goblin. It's the same on both sides because that card's always out. I believe oh, you can God. always beat up goblins because there's always goblins around. Right. Swa so these are abilities. Yes. Swagger. All yeah, right. So, so my character's going to need four of them. Right? <laughs> um, so these are your standard sorts of abilities. I think that I've got in. No, I've got some expensive ones. So you've any of the ones that have the little. Is that the cost in the top corner? I'm not sure. Um. Ah, oh, no, you've. Mm, uh, so some of them will have costs, some of them won't. Uh, I mean, they're going to be the things that you start with and stuff like that. So I mean, some of your um, basic sort of cards are like, you, oh, I'm not even, can't even remember. Um, sidestep is probably a basic card. Uh, you've got Stumble, and this actually, uh, when you draw it out of your deck, is just one of the, the bad cards that you want to be able to get rid of um, throughout the game. Okay. So I mean, like what you have in a lot of deck builds. Yeah, absolutely. Like. You have that dead card. Yeah. In your hand. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Wow, a lot of mercenary companions, huh? A lot of explorer yeah. companions, huh? Okay, well, I mean, that's that's pretty simple. There's not a lot of assets there. Yeah, well, it mainly is that whole deck building thing where it's it's all, like, the game itself exists within the cards, and then everything else just goes to comp complement it. Uh, yeah. You do have a bit more of a board presence than a lot of other deck builders. Yeah, so, so because of the board, because of the tokens, um, drawing things out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just a few touches to make the game a bit more engaging. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and give it a, slight, a little bit of a different feel and whatnot as well. So Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, the cards are a very nice quality as per usual. There's a tiny bit of bend in them, but that's that's fairly standard for your... This is, this is going to be shuffled. Um, and sleeved, I imagine. I don't know. I... Depends if we like it enough. It's that sort of thing where sleeves sometimes do just get in the way of, yeah, absolutely. of like quick use and whatnot. Um, I don't know. Like there, there are a lot of cards here to sleeve. Um, 
Hmm. Well, honestly, that's a quick one. Yeah. There's there's not a lot there to really unbox and unpack. It, it's going to come more from the gameplay, which is where the discussion's going to arise. Yeah. And yeah. you're on you're on my bitter competitive streaks. <laughs> my yes. bitter competitive streak. And your willingness to humour me. Yes. Yep. All right. Well, yeah. I think that's nice and easily wrapped up then. Thank mm. you everyone for coming. I am Riley Morse. I'm Damien Schneider. We have been Gibbons vs. Games, and we will catch you next time. I got it right that time. Yeah. That was 30 seconds of video. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Want to run yeah. me through a game quickly? I mean, I wouldn't be able to run you through a game. Um, ah, let's just leave it till tomorrow. Yeah. Like, I think if you have a bit of a poke around and see what you find about it, um, but yeah. There is not a lot in that game, is there? No. <sighs> Get it off the shelf. Huh? Get the expansion off the shelf. Um, no, I, I think that would be good to yeah. to do once we do know the game. The game oh, I'm not saying include it. I simply oh. mean do the unboxing. No, no, no uh, as in... Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. So that then we can comment on the cards and maybe how they're going to interact with how we play, etc. Yeah. Alrighty yeah. then. And, I mean, that one's just going to go. Oh, actually. It probably just huh? does. Oh, uh, you've got monsters and... Yeah, it probably just does that though, doesn't it? Oh, no. No. It'll be oh, the same oh, on the other oh. side. Oh. separate them back out. Shh. No, it had these companions at the bottom of this. Uh, well, I mean, okay. they're going to need to be split. It was just because that was yeah. the easiest way for the... <sighs> I just want to... So it looks like this is big enough to hold expansions, though. Yeah. <sighs> Bless you. That was literally like a 15 minute video. Tops. Mm. Yeah, no, it was uh, yeah, less than 15 minutes because it was 15 minutes between yeah. um, stuff. Um, it's going to go there. Oh. It's going to go there. But yeah, like it's a deck builder dungeon floor. So It's less than I expected with you keep going on about it and yada yada yada. Yeah, but like, it's it's not a huge game. It's yeah, um, yeah, but like, it's probably not one that we spend a whole lot of time with. But it's like a nice little yeah. filler sort of yeah, thing, sure. and uh, a lot of it as well because I think that Courtney would be able to play it, and I think that it could be oh, something okay. to get shiny into as well. Oh, okay, sure. Um, yeah, because all the cards, like the game, is just different cards that you're holding. Yeah. Um, all right. All right. Well, I think that's us for today. Yeah, everyone. We might be back tomorrow with some Clank. Other than that, I can't see us being on much. Oh, maybe Friday. Uh, James Possibly. isn't available for a couple of Fridays. Mm -hmm. So maybe you and me start looking at Charterstone. Yeah. Yep. And so we have that as the game that we that we play. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we do a head-to-head -head Charterstone with some Automa. Automa. Yep, sounds good. All right. Well, guys, I think that's us. I'll work on getting these videos up tomorrow. I don't know if anyone watched. I don't know if anyone's watching now. But if you are, <laughs> thanks for coming along. Hopefully, this sort of thing's interesting. Yeah. And I can advertise this sort of stuff and pump it out and yada, yada, yada. So, yeah. we will catch you guys next time, I think. Yeah. Catch us. Okay.